You need a hype song. There we go. That feels pretty hype. Do, 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 do this far. Post. Discord post. And I need to go back and grab a message so we're good. Hi. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Copy text. Peace. Uh, come tune in. Adam, thank you for the $2 super chat. Twice, actually, sorry, the $2 super chat and the $5 super chat. The first one was just slightly ahead of the stream starting. Yes, but I really appreciate it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm excited. We have multiple things we're talking about today. And it's going to be very cool. I'm not quitting YouTube. This is. These are all... Hopefully, good announcements. These are all announcements that hopefully people would want to hear. <laughs> I, I I genuinely hope so. Right? Uh, oh my goodness, so many people right here at the start of the stream. Dat Gaming, thank you for the five dollars super chat. I really appreciate it. Very kind of you. Uh, very very kind of you. So, haha. Hello. Hello, 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 notifications, hello, 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 my goodness, hello everybody, Ooh. hi Kelsey, I see you, April, hi, how you doing, crown with a resub, eight months, thank you so much, I really appreciate it, very kind of you, what's the, what, what the announcement, which one, we have multiple, <laughs> we have a bunch, we have multiple things to talk about today, and I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. Legs live, legs live, legs live. Yes. Okay. Me, an announcement. My immediate thought it was a reference. Oh, no, 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 no. These are all hopefully good announcements. Dat, thank you for the dollar. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. Was binging Vault Hunter season two inside you were live? Well, hello. We're gonna be back on that soon, actually, uh, which is the plan. Hello. Uh, which is the plan. We'll be back to it, hopefully, really quickly. Be quick. I gotta sleep. Okay. There's a lot to cover. There's a lot to talk about. Uh, will I be posting announcements on Twitter? Yes. Over, like, the next 24 hours or so. Because some of them, like, there's multiple. And I don't want to just put them all out at once. Because that feels kind of silly. Sapphire with a $2 New Zealand. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, P.O. Pio? Hello. Welcome in. Glad glad that you're here as well. PXR! Whoa! Six months. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. So, I'm excited. Is that Legs is actually Mr. Clean? How did you know? Can you imagine that brand deal? <laughs> Can you imagine locking in a brand deal with Mr. Clean? That would be amazing. That would be legendary. That would be really cool. It would be hilarious. It would be very funny. Uh, but it'd be cool. <clears throat> IRL word ban. No, not right now. Don't do it right now. Don't, please. Did you just slick back hair you don't have? No, actually, I put my hand against a freshly shaven head with a brand new razor. So it is smooth as butter and it feels wonderful, let me tell you. Right? Like, especially right here, right here on the back of my head, when I, when I freshly shave, like right here, this feels so perfectly smooth and it is amazing. And I just sit here and I just like massage the back of my own head. It also is like whenever I do shave my head, Mrs. Gundo like will put her hand there and it's like, ooh, mm, ooh, okay. So... <laughs> Wrap around, wrap around forehead, yes. I have a 27 head. Simp, married, yes. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay. We have three things that I want to talk about today's stream, and then one which is a little further off that uh, I want to like explicitly put out into the ether because I want to hold myself to making it happen. So, three things to talk about. I will let you all choose. One, two, or three. <laughs> Damn it, Rise. <coughs> Dang it, Rise. Not fair. 
One, two, or three? I see a lot of ones. I see a lot of ones. Lucid saying five because of course he is. Make it a poll. The one about extraction. <laughs> we can't be trusted with choices. So I, I, I and I'm not going to bamboozle you all here. These are actually in a proper order. So, mod poll for what? Mod poll for what? Okay, 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 okay. I think I have an idea. Bad news first. There is no bad news. I guess maybe, maybe bad news is that extraction is taking slightly longer for perfectly valid reasons. But, um, yeah. I was scared of losing my hair when I started testosterone. So far, I haven't had to worry about it. You help me feel better. Flame Bald is beautiful. You can rock it. It'll be fine. You got this. Okay. So, overwhelmingly uh, one on YouTube. I see some people standing out too, but as far as unique names, uh, one. <laughs> I am famous actor Stanley Tucci the whole time. If I was actually Stanley Tucci, I would be making YouTube. Actually, I probably would still be making videos, but I, I would care a lot less about how well the YouTube videos did. <laughs> I'm actually quite invested in how and how these all work. Okay, number one. So, we'll start with number one, very easily. Uh, number one announcement of the three that we have to talk about today. This one should be. <coughs> this one should be uh, very good for a lot of people. The ultimate survival adventure mod pack is now up and available on CurseForge. So if you search for my name on Curse, you can now find the mod pack that I am playing along in the Ultimate Survival Adventure, and now you can play along with me. This one took forever to get out, and it is, for any content creator friends out there, it's a pain to make content in because I've had to make and you can ask Beck and you can ask Sierra, the amount of work that we have to do to get all sorts of extra stuff as far as like any third person footage or anything else like that, it's a nightmare. It is a Forge mod pack, 1.19.2. You can download it from Curse right now, it is available. Uh, all you have to do is search up my name or search up the Ultimate Survival Adventure. It is a Java Forge mod pack. I am going to try to make a version of this that could work for Fabric. There's a ton of mods that are not available on that on that mod pack. So I need to switch it over, right? Also, I love the detail from the newer video on one of the three hearts being gone. Spoilers, so I won't spoil the video. Yes, right, Auburn? That was actually intentional. And then the next time that a death happens, the middle one, will also go away, which is very fun. There is cherry wood in it, Scorpio, just not Minecraft cherry wood. So it depends It depends on the the biome, but there are cherry trees that are a, a part of it that you will see. Um, no, TNT, if you've watched episode two, you're up to date as far as what the hearts mean. You're fine. You're fine. So that was announcement number one. There were three that I wanted to do. That was announcement number one. You now have another choice. I will give you a choice, chat. Do you want announcement number two or announcement number three? I will let you pick. That I don't know what it means. Uh, a lot of threes. I see a lot of threes. <coughs> I will river song spoilers close to my heart, yes. Okay, YouTube is fundamentally two. It's 2.5. I don't think that works, right? Uh, the end of the third episode where you felt had the totem equipped made me go, oh no, then again, I said, I didn't have the totem equipped if I remember right when I fell. I don't think that was on. YouTube is overwhelmingly two. No, we want three. 3.14. You cannot have Pi. I did not prepare Pi announcements. I only prepared three announcements. Shh, no spoilers. Sag in order, three supremacy. 
I have to perform at the same time so we can get them confused. Mmm, possible. <coughs> you always hunt pink sheep? Nice. You cannot have your pie. Yes, so. <coughs> All right, uh, option two. Option Whoa. two. Hey, Millimy, 13 months. Hello, been a while since I was able to catch a stream. Well, hello, I'm glad you're here, which is exciting. What form of government is this? Anarchy. Uh, true democracy. No, this is a dictatorship. It's just a benevolent dictatorship, so it's fine. Uh, okay, I need to copy some text from a message over here. Where, what channel was that in? It was in, oh geez, where's the conference room? Conference room, stand by, stand by, technical difficulties, I forgot how to read. Uh, copy text, hey, okay, I got it. What was number one? Uh, we'll recap all of the announcements at the end of the announcements section of the section of the video. Uh, I know I did and I'll have to gift subs. It's been, it's been under 10 minutes, it's fine. Okay. Uh, what are the shelves you have in the background with your play button on it? They're just from Wayfair. And I and I need to get new shelves because that's not hooked up to a computer anymore. That computer, if you notice, right here, is gone. That computer is now upstairs. That is now Little Gundo's computer. Uh, I need to decorate that wall, too, uh, very soon and put some new stuff in. Okay, so, announcement number two of three. Which is very fun. Stop stalling. I want to know. I'm in the process. Cyber Dragon, hi! Uh, you and the wife have gotten into Minecraft, found your videos, and been hooked on you. Thanks for the awesome content. Well, I'm glad you enjoy. Yeah, Lil Gunda has a computer now, which is art contest to decorate the wall. Look, anything that gets sent to the P.O. box that is, that is valid to be able to put back here and appropriate to be able to put back here, uh, I will. Like, there's all sorts of little art pieces and other things that people have made and sent that are on this wall, that are on back here and on and back here. I just need to light them better. But yeah, if there's anything that gets sent in, I will 100% put it back there. Is that a lightsaber? Yes. And it's, a, it's a really good one. How do you submit? Uh, there's a P.O. box. You miss sheeps. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so no Sneeven Legs fan art. Look. You can send that in, as long as it's not that one image, and yes, I see you, Tumblr, uh, you're fine, and I'll put it in the background, so you're fine. But as long as it's not that image, and it's stuff that fits what I normally would put on stream, you're okay. I see you, Tumblr. Okay, so, announcement number two. <laughs> in preparation for a whole bunch of other things, and also just because we have a lot going on, like, we have stuff happening that I can't even talk about yet. We are going to be expanding the mod team uh, and the dev team and so many other things. So, uh, we are looking to get more people to join us. And this time we are going to run it through some kind of... We're actually going to go ahead and open applications. So I just posted, please send. Oh my, it's too long. Hold on, it's too long for YouTube chat. Uh, hold on, it's the message is, is genuinely too long for YouTube chat and I can't edit it nicely in that box. So I'm just gonna do, 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 do. Uh, searching for volunteers, exclamation point. Bop, bop, I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna put that there. And then there you go. And I will pin that in both chats. So it is easily accessible. Uh, actually, I should unpin. I should uh, unpin that message and I should put a version that doesn't have the random channel hash at the beginning of it. And put that there and we can pin that over there manually at the end of the stream. So there we go. Uh, but yes, so. <clears throat> it is there. I will be pinging out to Discord and everything else very soon. It is a mistake trusting you with power. Probably. But part of that is part of the application process. 
So uh, it is it is all going to be available there. So don't worry about it. Uh, but we are we're going to be looking for more people because we have a Dragon Lord. I'll get there. You don't need to spam three. Uh, but we have a lot happening in the very near future, both like new stuff coming to the server, server expansion itself, extraction is coming soon. Uh, we have a lot of events and things coming up in the in the near future. We're going to need more hands on deck. Uh, and we're, we're, we want help. So there you go. Applications are out. J Jackson, you don't need to spam. There's only one number left. You don't get to have a choice. The, the, you don't have a choice anymore. You're in my house now. <laughs> uh, so yes. So we'll be looking for help. I will need I will need assistance in managing everything and keeping things all set and good to go, and that'll be fine. Do you watch Sneeve? Yes, I watch Sneeve. What do you think of Sneeve? Chaos Incarnate. Uh, I've been in videos with Sneeve, Nicholas. <laughs> yeah, Chaos Incarnate. So you're in my house now. <clears throat> so that'll be fun needing help uh the application is now available feel free to throw in your hat for one and all of those roles and we're going to try our best to onboard people to make sure it's easy as possible for people to join in and join the team and join the chaos so that is the that is the goal that is that is number two which is more community oriented than like uh, I don't know how to put it, right? It's more community oriented than it is like big announcement, but yeah, it's still, it's still really cool. Like we're getting to the point where we need a couple more people helping out and trying to be a part of that. And that is like, that feels like a cool next step, right? Uh, most recent new, most recent SMP. I am SMP less at the moment. <laughs> Uh, if that helps, uh, is this ethical kidnapping? So this is a slightly enhanced version of the van. This is van with consent. This is opt-in vantage. Uh, so this is this is the goal. <laughs> is is making it completely uh, completely opt-in. So yeah, others stream your packs. No, in fact, I'm be honored if you would stream content using the mod packs that I've made. Like that's that's really awesome. That'd be really cool. Opt-in kidnapping. You played Hell Divers yet? Not yet, but I want to. Uh, but yes, acknowledge your comment. Yeah, that's like why we're streaming. <laughs> you never got opt-in advantage. That's why I said we're refining the process. We're trying to make the vanning process slightly more progressive. So we're making sure that people opt in to be a candidate to be thrown into the van. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's literally the goal. That's literally, that's that's the whole thing. You were in so many SMPs, what happened? Uh, I got tired of organizing SMPs that would die. <laughs> and I re and left other projects, but for other reasons that we don't talk about. But that's why I like, I got tired of organizing ones that would fizzle out because the effort couldn't be maintained for a long enough time by however many people I was trying to get involved with them. Or the projects were a little too ambitious for where I was at the time that I tried to do it. Like Dominion was a really cool idea, but I feel like we shot really high and just didn't make it. And then that really hit everybody as far as motivation. And I think the role play aspect of Dominion made people be like, I just want to play Minecraft with my friends. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm a piglin. You got to interact with me X, Y, Z way. And I think that was like a thing that just, it, it limited. Um, I actually really like Whip's thread. And I know we're going off on a tangent before announcement number three. Um, I really like Whip's thread about why SOS has no, the, the no lore rule for SOS so that people can just play which I think is good, right? <coughs> Group project, I mean, yeah, it, it, it was an amazing watch, but you could tell like who had capacity to be able to put time into it. And at the same time that everybody else was online and so many other things, right? Like that is very much a thing. I would love to be involved in other projects or other SMPs. I have heard whispers of some of one thing or another 
and I've been very open and honest. Like I'm a free agent. I got availability. Um, I do know the next season of One Shot is roughly planned, and I'm going to go a lot harder on that than I did in the last one. And other than that, like there's ideas, but nothing like this is happening. So that's kind of where we're at, if that makes sense. Uh, I, I wanted to do this on the other song, so we're going to go back. Because this song is... Spoilers, this song is the trailer song. Because I love this. I love this song. I, I very much vibe with this. Um, setup tour. There you go. I don't have a funny setup like the Hermits. This is just a, this is just a setup. So... <coughs> Last announcements of the three. Uh, this one is slightly overdue, and I'll be revealing more about it in the very near future. But I've been very clear that Extraction is coming for some time. Uh, I've been excited about it. It'll be wonderful. I have so many things that I want to do with it. It's going to be a lot of fun. The things I haven't showed you is the branding. So... Let's show you the branding. <laughs> this is literally just a logo reveal of what the game is going to look like. But I am so very excited. This one is made by Mud. This one is made uh, not by Mudpat, by Copper Lion, who has also been doing all of the art for the most recent merch, which is really exciting. And I'll probably put this on a T-shirt or something because this looks sick. I love the way that this looks, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, this puts us one step closer to this being a reality. Like I said, I am shooting for closed beta for channel supporters for extraction before the end of this month. That is the goal, right? Is this solo or group? Yes. There are no teams. Friendly fire is always on. You want to betray somebody? You go ahead and betray somebody, which will be fun. We're going to do a creator event for it, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to invite a bunch of my content creator friends and streamer friends from around the space. And we're going to do like a 40 person event in this game mode, which will be a lot of fun. I also am going to have the server, which is going to be available, which is going to be very cool and always available. And I'm so hyped for it. It's going to be wonderful and it's going to be so sick. And I'm just, I'm so hyped for it. Right? The private beta is going to be on a small section of the map, like a small cutout of the map. And it's going to be, at most, iron weapons and armor. Like, it's going to cap to that. That's where it's going to go. So we're going to run that for a couple weeks. We're going to see how it goes. It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to see how things play. I'll be editing it. There's going to be a new section on the Discord for anybody who is publicly who has access to it. There will be a new section on the Discord you'll be able to see where you're gonna be able to submit bug reports, uh, any glitches that you find with the maps, timings, errors, problems, anything like that. Uh, what is extraction? Basically, <laughs> all right, application submitted. TNT, I think you're in, I'm just saying. <coughs> What's the ex difference between extraction and hoplite? What is the difference between a battle royale uh, what, what, here, what's the difference between Apex Legends and Escape from Tarkov? There you go. There's your answer, right? So that'll, so there you go. This is an extraction shooter. This is not a, this is not a UHC. This is not a battle royale. This is not anything like that. This is a persistent world that you drop into, you loot what you can, you get out, you risk everything that you have. What's Escape from Tarkov? It's exactly what I just ex explained. Brian, you say that one more time, you're getting a timeout. I'm just telling you right now. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, oh God, I need to explain extraction shooters to you all. I need to explain Tarkov. It's Tarkov craft. Kind of, but better which will be a thing. It's Tarkov and Minecraft, kind of, but better, which is very cool. And like I said, it's canon to the Lagundo multiverse, which is very, very exciting, and I cannot wait for it. This is going to be a lot of fun, I hope. I hope it's going to be a lot of fun. So you loot and you fight for loot, and you try to kill other players, and maybe you get, maybe you get perks for killing other players. Maybe 
you have to turn in other players' name tags for rewards. Uh, a lot of info for it will be available when the game comes out. There will be all sorts of tutorial videos and everything else coming with it very, very soon. Is it like Fortnite? No, it's a little bit different. So it's kind of weird, it's kind of wild, but it'll be fun. So we'll wrap it all up and then we're gonna get into Minecraft and we have kind of announcement number four, sort of, kind of. Uh, do you, yes, Emerald, if you die, you drop everything that you have. Full stop, you lose it. And whoever kills you, they get it because that's how looting people works. So four announcements. We're gonna re-go through them super quick and then we're gonna get into games. Right? So, announcement number one. The Ultimate Survival Adventure is now publicly available. <coughs> Anybody can download and play it. It probably is already going to get an update uh, because I've had to add a mod for the next episode of the series. So this will continue to be updated and kept in parody with what I'm playing in the mod pack series, usually one episode behind from where I'm at. So this is the mod pack as of episode three. You now all can play it, download it. Let me know how it goes. Please let me know if you enjoy it. If you're not, I'd love to see it. Uh, secondly, we are opening up mod applications and team applications to help on the server, to help with the community and the discord to help in both of the stream chats and everything else that we have going on. Uh, the application link for that is currently pinned at the top of both chats. You should have access to it right now. If you've been a member of the community for a while, if you've considered being involved in it in any way, and if you wanna be able to help out a little bit, if you wanna get more involved with it, that is where you could go to do it. And then thirdly, and finally, we revealed the logo for Extraction, which is coming very, very soon. Uh, I was supposed to get the map over the weekend. There's an entirely valid reason why I did not get it. The second I do get it, I need about 24 hours to configure it, get it up on the server, get it live and ready to go. And we will begin beta testing shortly after that, which I am very excited, which is very fun. Archie, thank you so much for the resub 16 months. I really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. <coughs> Lucid should apply to be mod. Maybe. But yeah. Is there any pay to play tier system or will players have equal access? So Laura Cat, uh, the private beta is for channel supporters in any way. So if you are a, a Patreon member, if you are a YouTube member, if you are a Twitch subscriber, Nitro Booster, any way that financially supports the, this channel in any way, you're gonna get access for the private beta. That is only because this way we can kind of keep down the number of people who will be involved in it in some way. It's already tied into everything that we have as far as like all of the infrastructure and it lets us test things in a slightly more controlled environment, but then it will be publicly available to Ooh. everyone. And there will be no no restrictions and it will be fully free to play for everybody. So don't worry about that. Just the beta, as long as you are a sub and as long as that sub is linked to your Discord and or the Minecraft server, which is all through Discord. As, lo as long as that is all linked together, you will be able to play Extraction Beta when it comes through. That's 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 the line. I had to pick a line somewhere. That was That's the line of where it is, right? So if you are in any way supporting the channel in any way financially, go make sure you're on the Discord and make sure everything's connected. So whatever Ooh. way you choose to support is represented. And then you can go ahead and get involved with the beta when it happens something very soon. K Panda, thank you for the six months. Wait, subscribe for six months at tier one. Thank you for the prepaid sub. I really appreciate it. That's very kind. Or maybe that's prepaid. That's weird with how, because it didn't say resubscribe, so maybe that's it. And then Candy, I think I said member for nine months, but thank you so much as well over on YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. It was prepaid. Well, there we go. Now I know, I'm gonna be so bad at a distraction, I'm horrible at PVP, which will be fun, which will be fun. Anybody who just came in and you're wondering like, what the heck, what's Legs talking about? What's going on? I need to know, I need to know. Uh, go back in the VOD. 
watch on YouTube or watching the watching the replay on Twitch and you'll be able to access all of those. I kind of want to tweet the extraction logo, just the extraction logo, but I also think it's too late in the day. So I'm going to tweet it out tomorrow right around noon. If you all could help me push the heck out of that when it comes out tomorrow on around noon that would be wonderful if you're following me on twitter that would be great um but yeah there's all sorts of custom weapons and all sorts of other things uh which you can access that doesn't really uh it's not just vanilla minecraft combat so you don't have to worry about that there are things you can learn which could be interested and you don't only earn shards through killing other players there's a lot of ways that you can earn a living in the wilds, right? People need to delve in. People need to unlock some puzzles. People need to unlock some treasures. There's a lot of things you can do to be able to get to be able to get stuff. Valker with a prime sub. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, is there custom enchants? So not the same custom enchants as what we have on the SMP, but there's a lot of custom functionality, but not like an enchant in the same way. Does that make sense? Uh, but yeah, so we can totally, is it PVPVE so you can totally avoid other players? Yes. Yeah, there are, there are mobs which will be attacking you throughout the whole thing. Did you almost start speaking to the little gundu? No, I tried to cough and it was almost there. Legs, read that comment. I just did. <coughs> Wait, what comment? Re oh, read this comment. See, I miss, I read it. I just misread it. Is there armor mod? You will find out all sorts more when we get a little bit closer to when you'll be able to play it. I will have all sorts of little like tutorial videos and explanations as far as what it is and what it all looks like, uh, which will be a lot of fun. When's the next USA episode scheduled to come out? Ghost, I just released one yesterday. <laughs> like I just started recording. It's gonna take time. <laughs> Those videos aren't easy to make. I just, I just released it yesterday. Release it now. It's not recorded. <laughs> I know, but I want more. I love the fact that you all want more. I'm super excited. Does buying merch get me into the beta? Um, right now, we don't have any way for that to tie together because that is like sending a real world product. That's not something that ties to your Discord account in any way. Um, We'll get there. Is a constant functionality intuitive and guided or something that has to be studied? Bit of both. Like grenades. I'm pretty sure those are obvious, right? I'm pretty sure that those are obvious. Now, figuring out how the gambler's blade works, that'll take some experimenting. Or the berserker chest plate. Or the sonic longbow. Or many other things which will exist. There's going to be a bit of a learning curve. Let's just say there's going to be a bit of a learning curve. So, <laughs> I've been working on things. I've been cooking. It's going to be fun. Dad, thank you for the channel membership. Four months. Or, sorry, two months with a number four. I really appreciate it. I heard documentation. Yes. I'm trying to kick this cough, and I'm getting there. Uh, Beluga actually made it to a leg stream since discovering the YouTube channel about a month ago. Well, hello, welcome in. Uh, you want documentation, free data entry project for the solars? <laughs> hey, let me just say, if y'all want to start a wiki for extraction, I'm not going to stop you, right? It could be fun. Gambler's Blade comes off like one of those items that either does zero damage or 200. Mm. Right? Could be fun. Could be fun. That should be fun. All right. So, I am excited. It's going to be good. That's where we're at. Hi, JJ. Good to see you. Welcome in. Uh, now, kind of for announcement four, sort of. Uh, but we have to get in game to be able to do that. So, put that there. Boop. Uh, boop. Shoot. Yeah, let me get myself up out of the hole that I was hiding in. 
And here. <coughs> uh, Black Hamstring. Hello. Hi. Welcome in. What's the next theme for the next 100 days? I have revealed that to patrons and channel supporters. I will put out a more of a teaser uh, at a point in the future. We are we are not close to that yet. I know it's released. So Josh, I've released it twice. I've updated the, ma the map twice. I, I don't know what's going on, um, which is, is kind of wild, which is the thing. I almost passed out while sitting at TNT. Get that looked at my friend. What was the announcement? You're going to have to go back and watch in the VOD. There were three. Technically four, because we're going to kind of start recording a hardcore episode while we're at it. Dip in. All right. See you. Bye, Sil. Bye, everybody. I'll try again. Yeah. Yeah, I've updated that zip twice. I don't know what's wrong. It might just be scuffed, which could be a somewhat poetic finish to the story of what is Dominion SMP. Um, it might just be scuffed, but we'll try to figure it out. Uh, I'm joking. This is a joke. Hey, if I've ever reached the point where live vlogging one of my streams is actually in any way viable, that would be kind of wild. I'm not going to lie. Rookie! Rookie's here. Okay. Y'all have to wait a little bit longer. Y'all have to wait a little bit longer. Because I have a thing. You have to wait just a little bit longer. Rookie sent me a thing. Rookie told me about this six months ago. I don't know what this is. All Rookie told me is whenever you get it, you have to open it up on stream. So I'm obeying my instructions that I've been given. And I've literally been watching for Rookie to chat something. So I knew to open this. On screen. So I knew it was time to open it. Right? So I, I genuinely don't know what's in here. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. It's overhyped. Please lower your expectations. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, could I do this? No. Uh, if I do this... Oh, that's not plugged in. I don't think it's plugged in. I don't think the overhead is plugged in. So I'm just going to back up slightly. Now, I need to do this without stabbing myself, which is potentially hard to do. Because there's tape here, and I don't have scissors. And I have a screwdriver. And it's not working. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's genuinely not opening. And I don't know how to get this to open. Haha. -ha. I've solved it. Flashing the address. This is the P.O. box. I don't have to worry about this. This is in the channel description. <laughs> Screwdriver is not for cutting. Yeah, I know, but that's all I have. Okay, that's all I have. Ooh, what is this? 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 What are these? Okay, I don't know what this is. Did you get me another trading card game to be obsessed with? Nightbreak? What is this? I don't know what this is, but there's shiny cards here. I mean, I have a whole... Okay, hold on. There's no box. Hold on. Can I plug and unplug this? If I deactivate and activate the camera, it'll work. Um, game scene. Cameras. Cameras? And if I turn this on. Nope. Nope. Okay, so if I do this. And if I... Oh, because it was over there. Haha! -ha! Problem solved. 
Yes, okay. So now we can go back to here. And we can turn this on. No, why is it there? No. Oh my goodness, this is so scuffed. Game, camera, cameras. That is that camera. Game, base cam. I can turn that on. Okay, I've solved the problem. Haha, -ha, we've solved the problem. <clears throat> okay, so I don't know what this is. There's supposed to be a box. I did not, I have a pile of booster packs on my desk now. I have no idea what to do with all of this stuff. What is Nightbreak? This is a game funded on Kickstarter and it seemed like something you would really like. Okay. Whoa. I mean, these are all extremely shiny and look very cool. I don't know what this game is. I'm gonna have to look this up. I got one like, one this, which I don't know if there was supposed to be a card in here. Daisu, thank you for the resub three months. Uh, but yeah. Tanisha is being a techno chaos goblin in the PC. Wait, what? The tech says you shall not pass. Ignis, deal two damage left or right. Spellcaster hero, Hyroblast, deal five damage forward. Deal two damage forward, heal three. I don't know what this is, but it looks very cool. And I think I'm probably gonna have to open this um on stream like we'll do a card game opening stream because i also have more hermitcraft packs to do i have more hermitcraft packs i need to open too um there's like two boxes over there so i need to figure out what to do with these okay this is a massive pile of cards i'm gonna have to look this up after stream and see what this is. Cause I, I genuinely don't know. Embrace the scuff. Scuff is our brand. Uh, I know those cards. I have every one from every collection. Interesting. Okay, I will figure out what this is. Rookie, this is extremely kind. Thank you. This is very, very cool. <coughs> I don't know what game it is, but I'm gonna try to figure it out but this is very cool. This is very, very, very cool. Hold on, I'm gonna open these up one more time and just look at something. Do some of these have different backs? They do. Wait, how does this make sense? I've never seen cards where the game, where the backs of the cards are different. What does this mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? I don't know what it means, but it means something. So that's cool. That's cool. I don't know what it is, but this is very, very cool. And I will have to figure it out. And I will, and we will probably do another like mailbox opening stream where we open those packs as part of the stream because that could be fun. That's very cool. Thank you, Rookie. Uh, this is different like God, goddesses, and the booster sets. There's lore. I love it. I love it. Uh, I did not make it. That was all the build team. They deserve all the credit for it. Yeah, I think it was just in a package. It was just like that. That's all it was. But yeah. Okay, I'm getting sweaty watching this, or wearing this in front of the lights and being excited and everything else. Bar the screwdriver. Yeah, here. Here you go, Lucian. Can you imagine if something just reached through the camera and grabbed it? It would have lost my mind. Someone at the post office stole some stuff. That is entirely possible. Um, I really would hope not, but it's possible. <coughs> but yeah, um, I love the service. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Everybody who's who's um, sending things in, sending applications in. We're gonna take a couple weeks to go through everything. Um, but yeah, Jordan, you can go back to the beginning of the video. I covered everything right at the start, which will be a lot of fun. So that'd be good. Um, I have so many other things to do, which will be fun. But yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. So 
Uh, here, we can do this. And then I can turn... Oh, that's not helping. Okay, so now I need to go to this scene, turn that off, and turn that off. And then I can go back to this scene and then we're fine. Okay. Uh, there's so much lore. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. I showed up on New Year's Eve a few years ago. Oh my goodness. That's wild. Okay. So, uh, record. We'll record. So, yeah. So, it's time to finally improve my fashion game. I have so many things I've been meaning to do for the longest time. I haven't trimmed my armor. I haven't decorated. I haven't dressed up. It's time to fix that. We are long overdue. I will also, I will get all of the stuff in the book from before stream. I will get that all in the book a little bit, a little bit later. So I, I'll have to catch up. Uh, I went in for your ultrasound appointment and had the shock of your life. You're having twins, Emmy. Congratulations, and also my condolences to your sleep schedule. As a parent, good luck. But that is wonderful for you, and I'm very excited. Congratulations, and I'm sorry. <coughs> you need emerald armor trims for the goblin and trader in you. So. Here's the actual goal of what we're going to do. First pregnancy. Thanks so much. Oh, boy. But yeah, here's what we're going to do. Here's the actual thing. I can't decide what armor I want to wear. I can't decide. I barely decide what I wear in real life. So instead, we're going to make every armor set. <laughs> we're going to make every single armor set. A max Ooh. set of every armor and every trim just like this one. This'll take a while. <laughs> so we're gonna stop that clip. <coughs> uh, W33, thank you for the tier one sub, I really appreciate it. And Isabel, for the five months as well. I really appreciate that as well. What are you thinking? Time for overkill. <laughs> overkill is underrated. So. We're not gonna make every armor set. That's a little bit of hyperbole. The trick is we're gonna make every set of this armor. Of this armor. We're gonna make every version of this armor and we're gonna make it that we make a machine which randomly spits out each of these armor pieces and I wear a different outfit every time I want to. This is gonna take a lot of time. <laughs> so that's Whoa. the challenge plant panda with a resub thank you so much three months i really appreciate it this is very kind i don't think pink sheep likes you i'm so sorry <laughs> put a terminal helmet turtle helmet in the machine for laughs that'd be fun a random wardrobe machine is the goal right is just a random wardrobe machine now i think i have some armor trims I do. I have three right here. Do I have any others over here? Checking. I don't think I do. No. And I know I have a netherite upgrade template. Right here. So I have that as well. We need a new shulker box. Where is... Oh, we have some of the eye trims as well. So we have some of those. Let's make ourselves a brand new shulker box because we're going to need to keep track of things. Black dye, and we will make a black shulker box. So this is now all of the trims that we own. This is going to take some effort. 
I don't know where to start. <laughs> I uh, don't know where to start. So where do we go for the different trams? Where do we go for the different trims? Where where do we where do we begin? I got I got to think about this. Start with the I trim. You have a bunch of these. No, we're not making any of them. We're going to find all of the different trims. Where's the next trim we should go find? <coughs> um, I was watching Sneeve's newest video, and there's a pink sheep in the pen in the first village that he found. How rare is a natural pink sheep in a village? It's probably just as rare as any other natural pink sheep spawn. I guess, like, it would be perceived higher rarity of it being in the village. But it's just another sheep spawn. But still, that is very cool. That's very lucky. We need a trail ruins, which I've genuinely never seen in my world at all. What would be the next most logical one to go to go try to find though, as far as the next kind of thing to find? Deserts? What other ones are in the deserts? Bastions, ancient cities, desert temples, jungle temples, trail ruins, strongholds, nether fortress, and end cities. So we have the one from, is there only one from each? Don't forget to bring brushes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need brushes. Let's get ourselves a whole bunch of copper. Actually, let's record that in YouTube version. So let's get ourselves a whole bunch of copper. We can just fly over here. Where's the stack? Here's a stack of copper ore. This will this will be fun. Uh, I'm going to need my fortune pickaxe, and we're just gonna wait. That's iron. Whoops. Wrong ore. Wrong ore. I totally know what I'm doing. I totally know what I'm doing. It's fine. I totally know what I'm doing. Up we go. Oh, the phantoms. Oh, I can't look away. I need the shot. No! Stupid phantoms. Now smelt this up. You can just come here for this. I think these are all still powered. Okay, so that would go to there. Boop, boop. That can go there. So that'll just smelt up for a little bit. On the very last day of this world, you should finally sleep so a new day dawns upon new adventures. Ooh. I did say we're gonna sleep on day 2337. So if we get there, it'll be fine. Do you drag click? Yes. Okay, do 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 boop. Okay, so that is all of that now done. Let's put away 
Where it is, here it is. Put this away. Uh, what's the music playlist you use? Exclamation mark playlist, ghost. You can get it. Copper. So we're going to make ourselves a shulker box worth of... <laughs> going to make ourselves a shulker box worth of brushes just because it'll be funny. So we need, what, 27 sticks? Yeah, it'd be 27. Hardcore Gundo has big insomnia? Yes. Hardcore Gundo does not sleep. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Okay. Uh, we're going to wait for daytime, and then we have to go kill a bunch of chickens. Oh, Spotify. Yes. <coughs> Off stream in a world. What are your thoughts about doing boring stuff outside of recording? Uh, I mean, I record everything when I'm in this world, but as far as, like, on a stream... Yeah, I've skipped some stuff, some boring stuff on screen. Does the day counter work? It works on both. It's just harder to trigger on YouTube. He's physically incapable of sleeping. I could. I just don't want to because I think it's a flex of not having the Sweet Dreams advancement this far into the world. And at this point, I don't want to mess it up. Like, at this point, it's special. So I don't want to mess it up. Doo doo. Doo doo. Do we have any feathers over here? No. Let's make ourselves a shulker box for archaeology. What color should our archaeology shulker box be? What color is not represented well here? Brown is not represented at all. Do you have any cocoa beans? Brown, brown looks like dirt. Brown, 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 brown. Everybody's saying brown. Okay. Do I have any cocoa beans anywhere? I don't think I do. I think I'm going to have to fly back towards spawn to get some. Okay. Easy enough. Do, do, do. And we just have a ton of exploring to do. Dr. Indiana Legs. Can you put mending on breaking on a brush? You can, but I kind of don't want to because it's funnier. It'll be funnier that they break for the video. Mixing brown and white dye could make a beige color. That would be nice. It would really fit for the permit office. That could be fun. Do, do, do. Show me the brown. Which is probably not something I should be screaming at the top of my lungs, actually. Brown. 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 Perfect. Now show me the chickens. Time to obliterate the local chicken population. Hello, chicky. Okay, I'm gonna need 27 feathers to be able to make a shulker full of brushes. Oh, perfect song for chicken murdering. Perfect song for chicken murdering. First try. Yeah. 
Get over here. I need seven more. Seven more. Not too many. Horse. Mountain horse. Three more. Hello, chicken. No feathers. Ooh. Twenty-eight. Nice. So now we should be able to. Oh, you can't craft it in the hot pot. You can craft it in that. Easy. Take a part of that. Thank you. You want to craft more than chicken? You shush. Just like that. Now we're ready for brushing. Call me the dentist, because I got all my brushes and I'm ready to go. Can put that back into the inventory. We don't need that. We had to kill 25 chickens to make that joke happen. That's their fault. Hi, Miss Fortune. Okay, so now we just need to go exploring. This is going to take a while. Because I need to go to what I know is verifiably new chunks. Which will be tricky. Just the trim. Oh, wait. You get... There's a trim for killing Elder Guardians, too, isn't it? That'd be a thing. You just passed dentist school? Hey, there you go, Lucky. That joke was for you. For you explicitly and nobody else. Uh, I'm doing good, Miss Fortune. How about yourself? As always, we are also keeping an eye out for pink sheep. Because it is a rule. You always watch for pink sheep. Ooh, portal. This will tell me whether or not I've been here before. I mean, there's a gold block on it, so I've definitely not been here. Nope. Nothing good. We'll take this though. Thank you. So I think we're definitely in new chunks. We just need to find the structures that we need to find. Want to say hi? All good. There is one from Elder Guardians. Good to know. But yeah, I think the title of this video is gonna be like, I made 10,000 armor sets. Or something just obscene like that, because why not? It'll be nice and ridiculous. People will eat it up. And ah, circus music would have been funny. You shush. Don't put that out into the universe. This game doesn't need any ideas. I saw pink and I saw sheep, but I did not see a pink sheep. So we're fine. Um, still thinking Iron Man Hall of Armor could be cool. Yeah, I think we'll probably do that. It's Water Tree. We will probably do that. I just haven't decided how. Found a pink sheep of your origins mod world. They spawned right next to you. Their name is Bubbles. That's wonderful. Don't just bad reputation would be funny while murdering. If only it were stream safe. 
Let's... Because everyone that I find is one fewer that I need to craft. Cha-ching. I'll take that. Ooh, that's honestly a really nice chest. I'll take that as well. Thank you. Can I mark this in some way? I can't. There we go. Now I know I've been there. Because the front, the front of it is stripped. Which is weird, because I've been here. Somehow I never looted that chest. So that's the stronghold. So if we go around a little bit, we'll get into new territory. Gonna need so many diamonds. Oh, we're gonna build a tunnel bore. We're gonna have to. There's no way we'll get away with it without it. So we're gonna have to build a tunnel bore. We're gonna need to make an, an immense amount of armors. We're gonna need to duplicate a ton of trims. We're gonna get clowned on by the playlist. And we're just gonna continue on like nothing happened. This is tricky because we need to try to see it from the air. I blame you for that one. I well, that's funny because I blame you too. <laughs> what we got? Nothing good. I blame you for that too. Ask and you shall receive. Need a ton of emeralds. That's the other thing. Like we are gonna do also that, but I also have needed slash wanted an excuse to build a tunnel bore in my hardcore world. And this feels like it. So yeah. All right, while the music plays, I'm gonna be completely real with you all. I need to go to the bathroom. I need like two minutes, okay? I'll be right back. Enjoy the circus music. Actually, no, I'll give you a, a hype song. And I will Whoa. be right back. Death by, uh, Death Brides. Thank you very much for becoming a channel member. I really appreciated that. Uh, you get free blurred chair back in 60 seconds. Be right back. Oh, I'm back. 
Okay, I'm back. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you, thank you for your patience. I need to go to the bathroom so bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. That'll be fun. Uh, Yelts, member for one month. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's very kind. Uh, what did I miss? Chair. Chair. Uh, fair enough. Welcome back. Thank you. 42-year-old woman started S&P for a 15-year-old daughter and all That's awesome. That's wonderful. They're probably having a wonderful time. Wants a ton of boards. Thanks for coming to it. Yes. Blurred, but no chair. Sorry. Unmute stream circus music. Beer, but I have to go to bed. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I've been drinking so much more water lately. It's been driving me crazy. Okay. We're back. I want to try to find a trail ruins. This is the biome that they can spawn in, right? Or one of the biomes that they can spawn in. The hard part is going to be finding them from the ground. Or like trying to find them from the air feels like it's... I should, should I turn shaders off for this? I don't know. Do shaders make it harder to find? I think it might. That's that's random stuff. It's good you're drinking more water. I'm hitting my macros. I actually hit all my macros for today. Right? I I, I actually hit all my macros for today. I'm, I'm super happy. This is the first time that I fully hit all three targets for the day. You're looking for white or purple terracotta. This is one of those days where sometimes I wish I slept in this world because doing this at night is very loud. Potentially dangerous. Okay. Lego Master, thank you very much for the prime, not the prime sub, for becoming a channel member. I really appreciate it. Very kind of you. You may need to refresh this stream. Yeah, I, I is back. I am here. I am back. I'm looking for terracottas of different colors. Because I don't... I'm not doing, like, seed map stuff. So I don't know where stuff is in my world. I have to find it. Because that feels like the way that it should go down. Lava pool. That's help. So happy. Well, Jester, I'm glad that we can have a space where you can come in and you can kind of decompress a little bit. What do we have here? Portal? New portal? I'm going to walk away from this with more gold blocks than anything else. Been a while. Hey Zoe, welcome in. Glad you're here. Totally fine if it's been a while. We're actually kind of starting a pseudo new project right now of going around and finally collecting all the armor trims. It's been forever. And for some reason I've gone, somehow, I've gone almost a full year from the release of the feature before trimming my armor. So I figure now I need to go above and beyond. So now, I'm going to get every armor set on every armor, everything. An hour flying, didn't find it, walked through a ti tiger for 20 minutes. Oh, I don't like the way that that sounds. Because my world is very jungly, for lack of a better term. So it's very much going to be a matter of like finding the right biome and then finding the right spot in the right biome walk through is very hard to see from the air I think I have a good angle here All right like this is giving me a pretty good view of everything it's just a matter of spotting it 
Because also the question is not like, not only do I see it, is is it there in the first place? I mean, I see some emerald ores, which I'm definitely going to go pick up, because why not? Oh, I just barely grazed that mountain. That was bonkers. Wait, what's that right over there? Oh, those pumpkins. I saw something that was not green, and I'm like, you, are you what I'm looking for? You know what biomes they can spawn in? Yes, it's like all the foresty biomes. Boop, okay. It's all the foresty ones. Like uh, taiga, mega taiga, old growth birch, birch, and a couple others. Right? Green. I'll take that. Thank you. Mountain kissing. I don't know. Yep. <clears throat> All the info that you would need, Pajama, is in the dock. I'm going to try to, like, run that angle again. I can't fly with a carrot, though. Oh my goodness, this is some old school terrain, Jen. Or at least it feels old school now, because you don't get mountains like this that much anymore. It's much more stable. You're not getting like one block wide floating mountains anymore. Or they seem to be a lot rarer. Oh, game. They seem to be a lot rarer than they used to be. Is Truffle gone now? Is Truffle not on my channel? Have they kicked me out from not being super active in their discord it's entirely possible and honestly valid but it should still be there last i knew i i still had access but it to be fair it has been a minute i'm still trying i'm just trying to get eyes on one of them ow Brown sheep? Brown sheep. Okay, let's try another place. Well, where else can they spawn? Swamps? We are also just like randomly out in the world somewhere. There's no rhyme or reason to as far as where we've gone. Just the other day on Wednesday. Okay. Let's go find another applicable biome. Hopefully by then it'll be daytime. It's almost daytime. We'll find another biome where they can spawn and we'll take that one from the ground. Taiga old growth or birch forest. Okay. Trailwinds don't spawn. You need taiga biomes, old growth, or the jungle. Wait, they spawn in the jungle? Oh, but the, the trick is like 90% of the jungle surrounding my base is going to be jungle that is from far back enough that it's not going to be in there. We need to go far out, but I don't know how far out is too far out. Oh! Nothing good. Darkfield, what the heck? Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I really appreciate it. That is immensely kind of you. <clears throat> what does the marker look like? It's a bunch of colored blocks. Like it's the very top of like some glazed color terracottas. Uh, say it. Th thank you for calling me out on not seeing everything. I do apologize. I'm, I'm slightly like in trying to focus on the game i'm looking at chat slightly less which is making it harder for Whoa! me to see okay so old growth birch forest with the nice floating islands which is cool a watching raven thank you for the prime sub as well oh i didn't even notice this okay let's get ourselves a shulker box to just dump stuff into Because we're going to need. 
Uh, we'll put that away. Because we're going to need just a random shulker to put everything in. One. I only made one. Collect that. We'll keep our book there. Our trims shulker. Oh no, that's our. That's just our brushes shulker. Trims is there. We're gonna need two more of these. Tiger has the most chances of a trail rune spawning. Okay. We will try. So that can go there. So this, there we go. This is now nice and organized. That can go right there. Break that, that can go right there. Okay. Random birch forest. Boots on the ground. Let's see if we can find it. If we find one right away, it is going to be hilarious considering how long we just spent flying. <coughs> Couple doesn't seem to be working. That might be on me having not been super feed good on giving feedback to the devs. They might have forgotten and or kicked me out. I'll, uh, I'll have to say something. You and Farron said just stumbled across your videos on YouTube and now we're addicted. Well, hello in and welcome. I'm glad that you were able to make it in. Okay. Nothing. 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 Dylan, congrats on getting a getting a sub. We love the lurkers, so I'm glad that some went to you all as well. We go. On, let's go. Okay. Is this old? This is regular forest. I need to get back into the birch. This is regular forest. We kind of veered off course slightly. There's a birch forest over here, which is where it could spawn. Old growth birch. Okay. This is where we have a chance. Uh, might be helped. You just posted in the Discord announcements channel. You should be able to post in the Discord announcements channel. But yeah. I mean, I roughly know how they spawn. Because I have interacted with them, just not in this world. Funny enough. Uh, I've interacted with trail runes in 100 Days Worlds. Not in, like, vanilla, the main hardcore world. That's been one where it's been just hasn't come up on the priority list not announcements yeah okay just checking because if you gain powers i'm like dang that was fast not only did we already select people i didn't even know okay okay we have the nice dramatic song playing this is a good promising suggestions thank you <clears throat> hey what's going on have i shared my hardcore seeds i have not uh i even forget exactly what the seed of this world is i'm gonna be completely honest i remember vaguely how i named it but i couldn't tell you the exact format or if i put something else in it so i don't know what the seed of this world is because i don't i don't want things spoiled for me I knew, I know if things, if people can access the sea, they'll be like, oh, go here, go to this place, go here, go find it there. And that, that's, see, that's less fun for me. Yeah. So I wanted to, I want to keep it interesting. And by having it so that I don't even know. It's an, it's an adventure for all of us. Are you going to the, are, are, to the trail runes to find armor trims? That's the plan. Except I don't think it's working. Because we're not having very good luck. To avoid dying in hardcore? I mean, take your time is the, is the best advice you could be given. 
You are in no rush in a hardcore world unless you're also speed running. So just take your time. Make what you want to make at your own pace. Don't take any risks that you don't feel confident taking. And tell, build your world, tell your world your way. That's the fun of it. Anything? You just kind of learn by doing. I mean, even look at me and where I was a year ago compared to where I am now. Even just in basically playing the game. And I've learned a lot. Right? What's a seed? A seed is a number that basically is used to determine the RNG in your world. So it determines the terrain generation, where loot generates what loot you'll get, a whole bunch of other things. Because computers can't do truly random. So randomness is predictable, but if you know the seed, like the base number that the computer is being random off of, you can predict everything that will happen. It also determines your fishing loot. Yes. So like there was no way I was getting a mending book before whatever cast it was that I got the mending book on. 1800 something. Or no, 2100 something, I, I think. And now, it's determining whether or not we find a trail of ruins. And then when we find that trail of ruins, if we find anything good in it. And it's not looking promising. Is this old growth birch? It is. Old growth birch forest. You can tell because it's the tall trees. Music is fire. Thank you. It is a fun playlist. You can get it. Exclamation mark playlist. It's always a good... It's it's great background music. There's a few songs that have lyrics, but most of them don't. And they work really well as good background playlists. What's the current campaign I'm running? I'm running an IRL uh, a campaign for some friends I know IRL that I still am in touch with. We've been running the campaign for just about five years now because we started in 2019. But then again, we only meet like every, ooh, brown sheep. We only meet like once a month, if that. Uh, so we're still only like a hundred sessions in. Which I say only, right? It's D&D, &D. but yeah. <clears throat> should have done a Smeagol Golem impression. That would have been very funny. The thing is, if Mog and I had like another two hours, we probably would have gotten it when we were together because that's about how much longer I fished. No, actually about 30 minutes because I fished for about 30 minutes after Mog logged off and that's when I got it. So, realistically, if I didn't have to go pick up my kids, which we all know that's the priority, but like, if I didn't have to do that, we probably could have caught it on the stream. It's impressive that the campaigns lasted that long. Yeah. It's honestly, it's a lot of fun. They're in a really cool spot. They're in the middle of a crashed ancient city in that used to be a flying city that became like this tropical island that a lot of people in the world know about. And they're trying to find a way to crash a to crash a flying city because the big bad has raised a city like an ancient one he's found a way to repurpose and reactivate that tech and he's currently flying that city at the city that my players basically call home so that'll be fun this is Impulse SV Cyberpunk Music. This is Scar's Super Fast Build Mode Music. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, no, that's not sus gravel. That's just regular gravel. Regular gravel. Regular gravel. Regular gravel. Still old growth. Still old growth. Just nothing. Nothing. We're having the worst luck today. Yeah. Where are you in the world? Why? I'm not gonna tell you, you don't know the seed. Do you know the seed? 
I forget. Do you know the seed of this world? There's a very select few people who know the seed. Oh, yeah. I'm like 2K out. We already know we're in new terrain. I'm pretty sure we're in new terrain because we found unlooted nether portals. And I've seen like lava freshly flowing. So I don't think we're in existing generated terrain. This definitely feels like we're far enough out to be new. This, uh, you knew S2, okay. Marathoning your videos for about a month now, finding th you through one of the scenario stuff. Let's find those ruins. We're trying. We're trying. It's, it's not going well. Okay, so now we're into regular forest. Take the world and make it your own. Right. Uh, old growth. Is this old growth again? No, this is just regular birch forest. Okay. We're probably going to take to the air and fly around and try to find another biome because this is not looking promising. How far out do I want to go? Let's go to like negative 4k, negative 5k. Taiga. Taiga's better, somebody said, right? We're finding it. Old growth, the one with the tall trees. Yes, it is. We can just put this on the hot bar. Would there be any light? Man, the shaders are beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Complimentary shaders. They're very nice. I'm very happy with them. Oh, the thing is now we're going this far out. We're going to generate... It's going to generate so much more that we're not going to get like the new wolves. When that comes around. I don't see anything new here. Make it your own. This is some really cool terrain though. Like look at those mountains. That's sick. I love it. Trail runes are rare and hard to find. So it's not really a skill issue. Wait, you're not calling it a skill issue? TNT, are you okay? I'm taking a screenshot of that. This is somewhere I'd love to come back to. Like, look at this. This is gorgeous right here. I'm gonna leave it unmodified too. Like I could, I'm tempted to grab those ores, but I don't want to. That's very pretty. Could always prune chunks. My world is pruned. That's the thing. Like anything outside the central like ocean and just, just barely inland on the coasts from that, I have pruned. So I know for a fact we're in new terrain here. Because we're we're well over 4k out. There's there's no way we'd be this far out normally. No goat horn. That's a bummer. Huh. Just, just look at that one birch tree just standing there against stalwart against everything else. You already bully legs enough? Yeah, that's tracking. Prefer to new dog breeds, just new skins in the old wolf model. I'd rather have biome preferred breeds. I mean, they're the new ones are data driven, which makes them wonderful because you'll be able to add new ones. You'll be able to add even more on top of that, which you bet your butts I'm making grunts the second I have the capability to. Okay, you get a you get one from killing elder guardians, right? Right? You get one from killing elder guardians. Do we have a bucket? We need a bucket. I need to find a bucket. Hey, choose your fate. 
watch the show or watch the show. Thank you. Uh, Power Rock Gaming, thank you very much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Very kind of you. Um, do we have potion water breathing? Perfect. We'll take two of those. I'm pretty sure there's one for killing Elder Guardians. <coughs> Gonna commit some more global warming? That's fine. Okay, so we can drop these. All right, let's go kill some Elder Guardians for some armor trims. Welcome in, Raiders. Oh, you got two on your stream today. There is one for Elder Guardians. Sick. My patented Elder Garden attack method. Now made much easier. Swim around here. We wow. Absolutely. We still haven't been hit. Like, we haven't been jump scared yet. We already have a lot of the shipwreck ones. There we go, finally. Took your sweet time. No trim on both of them. That's a bummer. Oh, that's a scuffed. So it only goes up? That only goes up? That's so scuffed. Fine guys, it's pretty rare. Did you do anything at all for St. Patrick's Day? Not really, actually. It's only a 20% chance? Oh, this is cruel and unusual. It's also a really bad monument build. a really bad monument build. There we go. That gets us up into here. Then we can come over here. Oh no, that doesn't work. Alright, please be open. Please be open. Please be open. No, but. Okay. Well, at least we know where we need to go. over here. Why is my swimming glitching out occasionally? That's the part that's weirding me out. Like that. You see that? I just stopped swimming. <laughs> Strange. Bummer. I could have sworn we would get that. That sucks. 
Well, that's okay. Alright, where do we go to get out? Yeah, look at that. This one's scuffed because it goes just up and there's two chambers where it's just straight up and down vertical. That is weird. This is a weird monument gem. This is a very weird monument generation. There's a lot of dead ends in this one. Need to go this way. Then this way. And then this way. Oh, come on. I got that. This way. No. This way. Oh, left. This way. Nope, another dead end. Seriously. What is the song? This song is Suffer City Blues. By Suffer City, one of my favorite songs. Very much the hype song on the playlist. No, no. Uh, what does the ah thanks loco tag mean? So that is something I learned from a couple other Twitch streamers at TwitchCon San Diego in 2021, 22, 22, <coughs> which was a lot of fun to learn. Uh, is that the way that the tag system works? It will list you by your earliest alphabetical tag. And this came as a suggestion from a Twitch staffer, a former Twitch staffer. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'll do that. So I did it. So that tag has been on there since tags uh, became a thing. Okay, come on, let me out of here. Oh, I don't have mining fatigue anymore. Wonderful. I can just leave. Jeez. That was annoying. Uh, wait. Unresolved? What's unresolved? When hitting a mobile stop the player from sprint swimming under certain conditions. That's annoying. Really? That's a thing? Well, at least it's a good thing to know that it's understood. Progress, I guess. We'll let that go. Okay, I see some taiga. And I know it's new because there's an unlooted village here and an unlooted portal here. Oh, we'll go to that big one over there. Okay. There's no chest. There it is. Not anything good. Okay, let's try to find it. We're gonna get up a little bit higher, like near the top of this, and then we can make it work. There we go. Okay. Is this the right biome? Growth, old growth pine taiga. This should spawn one, right? <coughs> God apple, I'm sure of it. Never mind. <laughs> you tried TNT. You don't have your old magic still. Yes. Okay. So this is promising. We just need to finally find one. So if anybody was wondering, the end busting stream we did kind of was like a precursor to this project. 
because it was us going to get all the end busting armor trims. Like I needed a bunch of shulkers anyway. I'm holding onto those armors because I could strip the enchants off of those armors and then use them to make more armor sets, right? Like that would be awesome because that's going to save us a whole bunch of diamonds that we need to make. So that's why I needed to save all of the armors and all of the everything else that we collected. So that was like step one of this process. Very rare chance. I know it's annoying. Um, I am the PR director for an Oregon. I'm just saying I want to the best Instagram award. Hey, that's wonderful, Isabel. Congratulations. That is wonderful news. Good work. No, that's just a pumpkin. I'm not, and I'm not gonna go to chunk base because I just, I still haven't. And I know a lot of people think that that's perfectly fine because realistically there should be better ways to find stuff in Minecraft than just wandering around aimlessly. But I don't know, I like the aimless wandering. I think it's fun. I think it's fun, just a different kind of fun. No, that's just, that's just some diorite. It's your birthday tomorrow? Well, happy early birthday. You always do chunk base. That's the thing, like, if I were to start doing that, I don't know, that feels like a slippery slope to me, to the way I play, right? Like. I like the fact that, say, in the 100 days or anything else, I don't have a story or a script or beats of, like, I know I want to do. I might know what the mod is and how to progress in it. So, therefore, like, I'll have a very rough idea of what I want to do. But I like finding the story as I play. And I kind of like having that for this world as well. Where the project is scripted but how it plays out is very much not. To the point where I don't even look things up. But yeah. Wandering better than fishing for mending? Yeah, because at least I'm seeing interesting things. Like, I'm at least exploring the world. I'm not just standing there, right click, right click, right click. Like, I'm pretty sure that that drove me slightly mad. Slightly madder. More more so than formerly. Previously. If you say the magic world, the ruin would appear. Abracadabra. Worth a shot. <laughs> didn't work if there would have been one right down there after that that would have been a hilarious bit I would say the decim is usually pretty much in your face here's an obelisk yeah well there's that but the more often than not and and I get it's actually funny that we're like talking about the fact that like the hundred days aren't scripted because they aren't then obviously I have elements like with the lore and stuff that I insert in and around to kind of script them or at least bookend them with like scripted content. And I don't know, that feels a little, I get comments about that often. And I don't know, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy the fact of like being able to build the narrative between the stories so they feel connected. <clears throat> I get for some people that does make them feel like I don't know, the whole thing might be fake or the whole thing might be scripted. That's okay. People can can believe that either way if they wish, but I know, which is the most important thing. As uh, that Minecraft is morally messed up. Yes. <coughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need to open your DMs? No, we'll contact people via Discord. So we'll probably make a ticket or you'll just get thrown into a van one day. So there's that. Yeah, you don't, don't need to worry about having DMs open. We'll find you. If you are chosen, we will find you. It's part of the initiation. 
Not gonna lie, I really enjoyed the stream. I loved that. That was a lot of fun. That brought back the um, SMP stream kind of vibe for me, where you could just play Minecraft and be talking to somebody. And that is, that is the content, right? Like you don't need a massive mega project or, or here's, a, here's a, a huge objective that's gonna take forever to accomplish or being like, how do I boil down this project that is a massive accomplishment into something that I could succeed on in a single stream to therefore make it worthwhile and interesting. I didn't have to do any of that for that stream. It was just, we're gonna fish and talk about Bluey's lore and so more and so many other things. And that was a blast. I loved doing that. That was so much fun. <coughs> I think we struck out. I don't think we're gonna find one around here. I kind of want to like head back to spawn and go the other way. Maybe it's just a matter of like, I'm not as far out as I think I need to be, but I don't know. It was a fun stream. Yeah, I had a blast doing that one. We should have a death chest mod on the server. Um, that kind of removes any risk of death. And you know me, the hardcore player. Like, the, the server in the world is already insanely forgiving. Immensely forgiving. I don't want to just completely neuter it. Because that's basically keep inventory with enough time. So, like, that's the thing. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in. Ooh. Nope, that'd be bad. Let's not do that. Anything? Here come the phantoms. The sky rats. I am not gonna lie, struggle busting a little bit because this is, oh, at least we have a tried it. All right, let's head home. Nope, this one. Let's head back towards home and try generating in a different direction. Good news is we're gonna be able to make really good time because Tridents makes our life really easy. We're at 250, so we're above any terrain that would generate. So we can just zip our way over. Hello, lava tree. We can pass our squid farm. We can pass this area. If we go this way, I know for a fact this is new terrain. Right? Because I've never gone south. Uh, yeah, I've never gone south from the squid farm. At least I don't think I did. This is like spider alley. This is wild. But yeah, look at how much ground we covered, how quickly with the tridents. It is wonderful. How come you can't screen share on your Discord server? Uh, we had somebody come in and screen share inappropriate things. So we locked down the permissions on it slightly. You can, once you're in specific roles, if you do something cool that you want to be able to share with the community, let us know and we can give you the role that would let you screencast. We just have that so that way it's just safer. Just keeps things nice and simple and nice and simple and safe for the community. That's it. That's really it. People ruin stuff. All, all that really did is like just make us have a thing to, to keep it safe. Like it was not a not a big deal one way or the other. And and we know it's like, oh, this sucks that there's this extra step to being able to do it. But we're pretty giving about it, especially people who are in the community for some time. We could probably automate it if we really wanted to, but we just haven't. <laughs> okay, so I need old growth. 
birch forest, which is over here. Is there any chance of it around here? No. That is a cool looking spot though. <coughs> uh, but yeah, because I can draw on one of the screen share, but that, no, so Sloth, if you do that, if you want to do that, just open a ticket and be like, hey, I want to be able to screen share. And we'll check and we're like, have you been involved in the community for a decent clip to the fact where we know you're not somebody who just made an account and wants to troll. And yeah, and then it's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you have the role now. There you go. Easy peasy. Like it is, it is meant to be as low impact to those who want to be able to do it while being just enough of a bar that people who want to be jerks can't. And it, we have to strike a balance. It always takes some time to learn it one way or the other. We need to calibrate it as we go. But it feels like we've gotten decently good. So yeah, so make a ticket and be like, hey, Legs said to make a ticket to be able to screen share. And and we'll go and we'll check. And if you're if you've been a part of the community for a decent clip, it's like, okay, cool. You have the you have the ability to screen share now. And that's it. Like it is that easy. Stop it with a power bow. Get that out of here. Hello, everybody, welcome in. Nothing good. That. Don't need that. Yeet. And away we go. I love flying in the rain. It is so satisfying. Whoa. Genuinely. Kijo! I don't know why it's saying welcome and not updated, but thank you. I appreciate it for remembering to support the channel. For remembering on the channel. Very kind. See, I think this is a chunk border. Or this was a chunk border. If I have 3G, yep, that's a chunk border. So I think those chunks are old. These chunks are for sure new. So if we go out this way, southwest, and we find a new old growth or taiga or something like that, and we explore, maybe we'll find one. We're gonna spend the whole stream looking for and not finding a single trail route, which honestly kind of sucks. Oh wait, no. Okay, yeah, we've been here. So if we go this way, and then this way. <coughs> Welcome back though, Kijo. Glad you're here. I've been getting so many lately because of the weather. Surprise migraine. Ooh. Yeah, I've been actually pretty lucky lately. Which is fine. You lost your streak. So wait, does streak only count contin continuous months? That's stupid, YouTube. You should fix that. Also, you don't need to give me $5, Kijo, to say a message. Okay. Where are we? We're okay. We're about 2,500 blocks out. That's a village. Oh God, can they be in jungles too? Cause this one's going to be impossible to find. Another like spider nest. No, thank you. Kill it with fire. Um, uh, put user in timeout, 24 hours. Caden, you can come back next stream. Try being less of a jerk. Yes, they can. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. Okay, so now we're back behind the, okay. Okay, now I know we haven't been here because I would have absolutely eaten this calcite mountain. Wait, I have. Wait, I have. Wait. Wait. 
Oh, we've been here. Okay, we gotta go this way. We're just gonna eat ourselves pretty far. He ate the mountain. He ate the calcite. Calcite was crunchy. There we go. We're getting out of here. You ate, but you didn't finish the meal. Yep. Look, we're in the middle of another massive ocean. Oh my god, it's just another gigantic ocean area. Any upcoming collapse Whoa. with all of them? Uh, I'm not involved in the scenarios anymore. I will be inviting them to the extraction player event when that happens. So, I don't know. We'll see. Why do I get the feeling we've been here before? I have the I have the sickest feeling we've been here before. Oh, why do I feel like we've been here before? And Zaybear, thank you very much for seven months of channel membership. I really appreciate it. That is very, very kind of you. Have we been here the last time we were looking for a trail ruins? Cause there's a fox. There's foxes. Are we bred foxes? Oh jeez. Does it work in? Do they generate in snowy biomes? Or is it exclusively warm biomes? Cause this is snowy taiga, so I don't think that would work. You just get burnt out? No, there's other reasons. Oh my goodness, this is like a massive frozen area. They do? Oh. This is gonna, I mean, on one hand, the colorful blocks would stand out more. On the other hand, they won't because they're covered in snow. Oh, this is a nightmare. We're gonna spend all stream and we're not gonna find a single one. And I really don't wanna to have to chunk base to find it. Cause that's just not fun. <clears throat> okay. No. Where are we? We're about 6,000 blocks out on one axis. So I know we're in new terrain. We've got to be in new terrain. Love solar, uh, love snowy bonds if there's no strays. Oh, yeah, we're definitely in new terrain. Okay, cool. We're definitely in new terrain because this is a massive cherry grove. Ooh, hello. Efficiency four. Frostwalker too. I'll, you know what? I'll take that. Okay. Massive cherry grove biome. Right next to a decent size old growth and jungle combination. Hello. Free the golems. No, the golems might hit me. The last thing I want to do is have those golems end my hardcore world. Are you kidding? Nothing good. Anything. Oh my goodness. We are having such a hard time finding trail ruins. Old growth birch. So we're in the right biome for it. We just won't find it because why would we find the thing that we're looking for in this video? What kind of silliness should I be expecting? Full set of enchanted gold gear. Neat. Neat, but I don't need it. Walk through the area. I'm trying. I'm losing my mind. Game, please. Please, I need content. 
all I have for content right now is I made a shulker box of brushes and a bad dentist joke. Game, please. Found cheap. It's insinuating you had one to lose. Fair. Losing more? Have lost? Losing? Double lost. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Oh no, game. The game's not going to give it to me. We're going to literally spend the whole stream searching for one structure and not find it. How you doing? We are trying to find a trail ruins. We are failing. It is not going well. It is not going well at all. Jungle? Okay, let's... Lightning? Thor? Okay, Thor says... Odin says to check out over here. So we're going to put on the chest plate. And we're going to go where Odin said to go. Odin? You wouldn't mislead me, would you? Please. The God of Thunder wouldn't lie. Think of the MCU. That would just not be cool. Come on. Did you turn on experimental? Trail Ruins are 1.20 feature. They've been a 1.20 feature for some time. They were like part of, yeah. They're part of 1.20. They are part of 1.20, right? I'm just checking, right? They're in the game. They're in the game, right? Are you, are we sure? Are we sure? Because they might be in the game, but they're not in my game. My son Thor is the thunder one. Oh, <laughs> oh hi, Odin. What's up? Nothing? Nothing. Hi, Filza. Are you in 1.21? No. Trail Ruins are not a 121 feature. They're in 1.20. I'm pretty certain of this. I'm like, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> Unfortunately, every copy of Minecraft is personalized and yours has no trail ruins. I believe it at this point if you tried to tell me that. Okay, we need to re, we need to re up on rockets. And elytras, because our elytras about to break. Swap those out. Craft those up. Those can go there. You 10 cons? Yes. Uh, I'm considering going to <coughs> TwitchCon San Diego again this year, which was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun in Vegas. Uh, for the people, not for the city. The city smells like cigarettes and hate. Um, but it was a lot of fun to go to the convention. I'm probably going to go to TwitchCon again. I've gone to the last two. So that seems to be like L. Yes, I, I agree. I agree, game. I agree. This is not going well. 
Oh my goodness, this is not going well. Michigan and Chicago. They're going to be on the West Coast, right? You two gang, gang better come join us. It's it's rough. But yeah. It's not looking promising, y'all. We're go we're going out. We're going to 10k. It's been over an hour and we have not find it. Was that a naturally generated Laguna logo? I guess it kind of was. Okay, here we go. Another another area. I'm going to run out of food. Love me too. Really hope you love me too. Well, there's also VidCon Baltimore, which I considered. Because that's a drive for me. So I might go to VidCon Baltimore for like a day. The only problem is it's back-to-back -back weekends. And I can only be out of pocket as a parent so much before it starts getting a little neglectful and or puts my marriage at risk. And back-to-back -back weekends feels like it would be a problem. So I'm probably not gonna, not gonna commit to that. But the current plan is TwitchCon San Diego and going in and hanging out with all my streamer friends. Trail Ruin, locate, I'm not locating it. This is hardcore. I can't even run that command if I wanted to. And believe me, in this moment, I want to. Oh my goodness, that is so cool looking. There's a geode down there. Yep, nope. I got nothing. Is it this? No, that's just a pile of gravel. This is just a pile of gravel, right? Yeah, it's just a pile of gravel. Now I'm sus of gravel even when it's not sus. What's this, what's this seed? I, I'm not telling. I have not told and I will not tell. Is this old growth or is this, this is just regular birch forest. We're, we're sailing out, sail. How, f I mean, my world is so aquatic, which is really interesting, right? There is so much ocean in and around where I live. Cause there's the whole, there's the spawn ocean, which is that big circle, which is what I live in the middle. I live in the middle of, right? And then there's all of these other oceans. This is a very Islandic centered, centric seed, which is very cool. Cause it doesn't seem like that is a thing. Well, thank you Z. I think you're pretty cool too. Okay, I'm just doing some rough peeking at the ground. Trying to find fancy colored blocks. That's a skeleton. I don't see anything promising right now, which really breaks my heart. No, that's just some diorite. <sighs> Making waffles? Oh, I'd love some waffles right now. That sounds wonderful. Hello. Hello. There's not light on a trail ruins, right? Wait, wait. Wait. Oh, I think it was a sheep. No, it was between the sheep and the chicken. I saw what I thought was like white, a white block. And that wasn't it. Oh, heartbreak. Heartbreak. Was 
that. Gold armor, gold armor mob. Like that, like that. Do like that, do like that, that. If only. I would love to. Let me do it, game. It is not having it. I don't see it. You've only seen tan or brown. The one time I found a trail ruins naturally spawning in a hundred days video, it was white terracotta, which was really easy to miss. Except I happened to walk like genuinely right on top of it. <clears throat> you should look for trial chambers. Now that is a 1.21 feature, which I know I don't have yet. Uh, when we have that, yes, we will probably do this exact same amount of fruitless searching. <laughs> Trying to find a trial chamber. I really hope they add a really concrete way of finding trial chambers. Because if not, it's going to be painful. Because this is... Like, I'm enjoying this because I have you all to sit here and talk to. But if I was just flying around on my own, I'm 10,000 blocks from home. Just sailing back and forth, trying to find a couple blocks in the ground, right? <clears throat> and that's not fun. They spawn in caves, yep. Like, that's not fun. We're only trying to find a trail ruins. That's a pig. We're only trying to find a trail ruins, and this is really frustratingly difficult. And I think, like, I have a second answer as to why I've never trimmed my armor. Because this is not fun. This is frustrating. Try to fight the warden. I've killed the. Uh, I've. I don't think I've ever killed the warden. Killing a warden is not on my to do list. I don't need to do silly things just to do them. <coughs> I like to do silly things because there's a reason. Do that make sense? Which I guess makes them slightly less silly. But it makes it my version of silly, which I inherently approve of. <laughs> no. Nothing. You only I'm just looking over every little bit of block and I'm getting nothing. Look near the rivers. It's just not clicking. We're not finding anything. Chunk base? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I could put, I could load up my file right now. I could load up my world into chunk base. I could investigate it using the seed. But that's not, at least to me, that feels like there's something inherently wrong with the design of the game if you have to rely on a secondary tool to fix the design of the game that obfuscates content for no reason. Like, there should be a concrete way to get to a trail ruins. Right? Whether that be like a cartographer map or something else, like there should be a way where in doing X, Y, and Z action, you can guarantee being able to interact with the content. I've been in this world for over a year. I've never seen a trail ruin. And this is probably the most active we've searched for one and we're still not finding it. Look underwater. I mean, sure. Let's go get the let's go get the trident. Why not? We didn't even get the trident. Shame, shame. They're easier to find underwater. They're not supposed to spawn underwater, though. That's the thing. A trail ruins? Not supposed to spawn underwater.
is that they are lost history and they're accidentally found. I get that. And, and I love, in theory, I love that, right? But this is one of those situations where your gameplay is hampered by the lore that you've written. And if people literally never find them, myself included, who I'm not gonna brag here, but I feel like I, I play, I know the game decently well. And I know of no way to make this less painful. All I can do is search around and try to find the pixel or two that tells me the thing that you're trying to engage with is here. Right? And I don't have a way to make it so that I can improve my odds right now. Which feels like bad design. Or at least frustrating design. And I am what many call a Mojang apologist. I am on their side for a lot of arguments as far as like devving for the game, adding features to the game. This the what I think is just borderline stupid argument of Mojang is lazy. But at the same time, like ah, it feels like it's missing something pretty significant in the moment and I just can't I can't fix it as a player there's nothing I can do which is a little frustrating sorry if I'm getting a little frustrated here y'all this is rare for me this is rare for me I don't normally get frustrated at this game right hey nothing to do with anything other than I have no one else to be on the journey finding stuff. Yeah, that's the thing, which is fine. This is, I'm trying to find this for, like, this is the goal. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It seems like they expect trail ruins to be incidental, which is the thing. Terracotta, gravel, sand, possibly brick. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm looking for. I've been looking for it pretty significantly. We've been at it for well over an hour at this point. And we're just not having any luck. <laughs> Tease in necessary ways. Oh. Oh, was that water that we would? Okay, okay, we would have landed in water, so it's not like that would have hurt. But at the same time, woo. Okay, there you go. The adrenaline's back. <laughs> oh god. Okay, the adrenaline's back. I'm awake again. I'm awake again. We're fine. We're fine. I'm awake again. Hi, Eve. Hi, Evelyn. How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome to the chaos. We are trying our hardest to find a trail ruins. We've still yet to find a trail ruin. It's been over a year since they released. And our world is just too tropical. We get too many of the biomes that they don't spawn in. So we are 10,000 blocks out to try to find one. To so just what? I mean, Jackson, it's okay. Be on lower armor, more flat terrain because it is underground. No, like they can spawn anywhere. It was very mountainous, yes, but we're trying to find it. We're trying to make it work. I'm looking for like the one or two blocks by doing this kind of motion, having a very slow pan over the terrain from top down. It feels like it's giving us the best shot perspective wise, but it's not yielding good results as of yet. I did see something over here I want to investigate. Found yours in the desert too. I don't think they can spawn in deserts. Oh, there's just a button. Okay. 
No, no, no. Just looking around, trying to find it. So what all have you been up to? What did, what did anybody else do this weekend? Anybody else do something fun? Lush cave. It's just a boulder. Didn't get it. No. You got Undertale? Nice. Paint your guest room green. Sounds like a lot of fun. Unicorn Overlord. I think I've heard about that game. I think I've heard about that one. Anything? Wait. What's that? Nope, that's just gravel. That is just a pile of gravel and some diorite in the middle. Bummer. Working on your zoo, nice. Very nice. I think, by the way, Luani, I don't know if your ticket's been answered, but like definitely we are talking about a solution for that specifically. So hopefully soon. <coughs> Go into a lush cave to refresh yourself. I'm gonna need to fly back because we're gonna be out of rockets soon. 36 ender chests. Grab that. Wait, 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 wait. Finally! Finally! We found one. We have one. Terracotta. We have one. Finally, that took an hour and 40 minutes of searching to find a trail ruins. I was just about to give up. I was genuinely about to give up and say that this video is a bust. Okay, here we go. I can stop that video. <coughs> and we can start a new one. We can put a marker down of like, here's where we actually found it. That took forever. Hey gamer, how you doing? Ooh! Toaster! Thank you so much. Dark, we have brushes. All you had to do was say you were gonna leave. Yeah, apparently. The game's like, oh, he's gonna quit. No, do something. Throw him a bone. How far did you go? 9,000 blocks out in one direction. That's bonkers. Okay. I already broke the first dust gravel. I already broke it. Is this the suspicious gravel? No, this is regular gravel. I deserve this one. No, I, I, I fully. I fully deserve this one. That this one is. This one's on me. This one, this one's on me. Let's, let's, yeah, let's just make a, let's make a less good shovel. Playlist never misses, does it? It never, ever, ever misses. Okay, here we go, finally. 
archaeology. So mean. So mean. I'm doing good. We're having a day. Okay. So mean. Well, no complaints though. There's one of the new armor trims that we needed. There we go. Nice. Uh, what we are going to do is quickly light up the area. Just to get some mobs to not be spawning in the immediate vicinity. And we need to be careful for that. We are going to box this up too. Uh, let's do that. We can make ourselves a door. Perfect. That's all enclosed now. Sick. We can move all of this inside. This way, we are protected from random mobs that might come be giving us grief. There we go, and then that can go there. Perfect, that works, that works, that's good enough. One, two, that can have that. This can get random door bits and everything in here, and then that could be the crafting table. Sick. There's our armor trims. There's our brushes. Now we can excavate safely. Uh, who is that? Zaybear! Or, sorry, Mr. Fluffles! I, I, I saw the wrong message. Mr. Fluffles, thank you so much for the resub. 18 months of support. I really appreciate it. That is very, very kind of you. That's why I have that door there. And here, just to be safe, we're gonna block the door so nothing can get in. All right, there's no getting in here. This is sus, this is sus. Oh, this is rockets. Stained glass pane. I think these are all safe to break. Yes, we're good here. That one's a sus one. No, it's not. Do, do. All right. All clear. Food, torches, we can actually start mining down. Wait, did I just break another one? No. I didn't. Those are both mine. Oh, I did break another one, didn't I? No.
There's so much in here. You? Yes. You're sus. Give me this. So that couple breaking isn't too awful. With how much we've gone through to get this, everyone breaking is a tragedy. I'm not going to lie. Except that one. If this one broke, it would be fine. <clears throat> is there any lore in your world? Oh my goodness, gamer. You are asking the right person. Hey, you are that? Piece of lapis? Sure. That's sus, and then that one next to it is sus as well. Oh my goodness, there's dirt up here. How far back does it go? Uh, is this one? No. Those are fine. That's just dirt. There's another one. Another stained glass pane. Here we go. You? Gimme. Gimme. Dead bush. Yay. This is gonna take some time. So we finally have like this that we can engage with, which is fun. I don't know why Mojang made it so hard to be able to interact with this. That's the that's the thing I, I'm stuck on. It's like, why? Why make this hard to do, hard to find? I get it, you want it to feel special, but at the same time, yeah, I don't know. Put that in there, too, because we're not. <coughs> Use a brush on everything. I'm working on it. Oh, my goodness. I need to constantly mine up. that we're always on the top of the gravel and then working top down this one another pottery shard shovel is kind of like a brush I mean it depends it's like a very hard toothbrush burn pottery shards There we go, that's another something. We get a hoe, woo! That's done. This one is brushable. Make, you can make a pot and put it somewhere. I mean, we're going to decorate the base with all sorts of pots and stuff. We're going to have all sorts of that stuff in and around the base. It's just a matter of getting enough to be able to do something with it. That was the pickaxe breaking, or sorry, the shovel breaking. Not this. I'm actually just gonna use the pickaxe because it's slow enough on gravel 
that I think it makes sense. I think this makes sense. Like, let's do this so we're playing it safe. <clears throat> More pottery shards. Another sussy block. Because you kind of don't want to be going fast right now. We want to go slow. We want to be meticulous right now. And just find these little bits. Okay. Again, Mojang, this is fun. Why why hide this from players this much? There's value in here. And I get I get the idea on an extrinsic level, but intrinsically, like, why hide this from players this much? More pottery shards! Finally. Okay. Let's head back over this way, and then this way, and then up. Oh, we got two of those. There we go. That's just clear the inventory right there. They want to make you cry. They succeeded. There's this one. Give me your secrets. You have a greater chance of finding a deep dark than a trail ruin. Because there's a very clear indicator. Like, there's things you can do. You go to high erosion areas. That's how you find deep dark. Like, this was go to woods. Which is not specific enough. Uh, boop, boop. There's the cauldron. Okay, that's this. This one is a sus one, so we can get out of here. So you have to go further. We have a lot to do. We gotta take time. We finally, like... There we go. We finally interacted with this. So this one, this chamber is... Done, or getting done. This one, this one. What time is it? It is almost 10. It is 9.45 specifically. Okay, so this loops back around. This is a sus one. Hanging sign? Interesting, okay.
I'm trying to very carefully, precisely excavate this while basically holding the equivalent of like a, uh, <laughs> a full on mechanical excavator in my hand. And I know we made an iron shovel, but I feel like I'm also getting used to digging out with haste two and only breaking a block or two. So I kind of want to continue on that lesson. See, look at that. Oh, no, that's not a sus block. This one is. Yeah, this one is. Hey, there's another armor trim. TNT will make it a lot faster. I think that would defeat the purpose of what we're looking for. So that is two of these armor trims. Okay, now it's gonna get messy. Two down, two out of five. Oh, I heard that. We had to, we had to go up. That was the puzzle. You had to go up one. How high up is the gravel? Pretty high up, actually. Mm. Brushy, brushy. This and this can come out. Now we can work on the next layer. Which I think is all clear. This layer is all clear. There's one. Are you aware it never ends? We're gonna be at this for a while then. This is good news. We'll finally get rewarded for all the time that we had to spend to find it. Wayfinder, Razor, Shaper, and Host. Yes. And the record. And, and any pottery shards that we could find. Sus. There's another shard. Another creeper shard. Nice. Oh, I heard that one break. That one hurt. An emerald? Money! Interesting. Oh, this one, this one as well. Oh, we got another one. You finished your paper. Congratulations, Odin. Good job. This one? Candle? Candle. That's that. And there's that. Okay. 
Got to go back in that direction. That's most of this area. Let's go back and drop off more blocks. Okay, so we're going to stop stockpiling the random blocks that we're getting. All right, like we don't need coarse dirt. We'll store the dyes because that's fun and the hanging signs because that's also fun. We got a bunch more pottery shirts, so that's also fun. Uh, if we do this, I'm pretty sure those dies are going to stack. Yes, they are. So that's wonderful news for us. The mud bricks we might as well keep because we actually need. <laughs> we need those. Flint can go there. We'll put the terracotta in because why not? This is what you do when you have nothing else to do. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm trying to like... Make a little hole. Perfect. We can drop all our blocks in. That we don't need anymore. Now we can just come on back down here. And keep with the excavating. Which is taking significantly longer than I thought. So at least the time we spent to get to this silly thing is worthwhile. Like, we're getting our content's worth. Now, my only hope is that I get everything I need out of just this one. With my luck so far, that is not going to be the case. We're going to have to find another one. It is not... It's not going to be that easy. There's no way it's going to be that easy. There's sus. <clears throat> there we go. Oh my goodness, there's so much of this. At least there's a lot happening. Candle? Candle. There. Yep. Brushy, brushy. Howdy, howdy. Fake TNT. <laughs> Brushy, brushy. More money. You are another one. Oh my goodness, this does go on for really long. Wait, how long does this go? <gasps> what? Okay, that's bonkers. Getting a torch there. This is massive. Okay, we're gonna need more torches. Okay, I think I have, I think I have some torches in a box that we can use. <coughs> no, no we don't. Huh. I thought we had torches in the box. I guess not. Mr. Krabs looking in every corner for money. Yeah, a little bit. 
Like, look how far down this tunnel goes. This is actually a decent clip right here. Oh, and it's storming out. Yay. Is it a brushy one? This is a brushy one. Are there skull creatures? Yeah, I have a skulk, uh, skulk disposal box. I have a skulk disposal box that's just preset to be able to drop stuff in it with stacking. So that that will, that will oop. Ah. Broke one. I broke another one, no! Yeah, I need to stop moving so fast. I'm getting impatient. I need to stop moving so quickly. Instead, I need to take my time. Take it one block at a time. Slowly carefully painstakingly brush through it <coughs> I've broken eight already no way I've already broken eight that's so bad Oh, that was actually just a black block. I was so confused. I was so confused how that was glitched. <laughs> it's just like darkness. I'm gonna need torch. There we go. So confused. It's terracotta, yeah. This makes more sense to use the pickaxe for it. Oh! That's another armor trim. That's another new one. That is three out of five of the of the Trail Ruins armor trims. We're actually doing pretty well here. Stuff up there, I gotta be careful. How much higher does it go? You know what the funny part is? I'm pretty sure when I found the trail ruin in the Skull Hunter days, it was storming then too. Which is kind of wild. Got another pottery shard. That's another fire one. Please, it kills me. No, I won't. I like wearing a diamond helmet still. You know why? Because it makes it that my armor is different than everyone else's. And that's literally the only reason why. I wear it to be different. So that way I don't have it. 
That way I don't have the exact same armor as every other YouTuber. It's a very intentional decision. Like I, I know friends who have taken it further and they wear turtle helmets and they're amazingly creative people and I wasn't going to take their deal so I just kept them on the diamond because I figured that was the next best thing without directly infringing on their on their bid. Which I think is awesome. Turtle, turtle shell boys. Awesome. Three awesome, awesome creators. What happened so far? We spent over an hour searching for a trail ruin and then we eventually found one. And I announced a bunch of really cool stuff at the start of the stream. So you might want to go back and rewatch the very beginning of the stream if you want to know about a bunch of cool things. Uh, Sai, I just answered you. I installed a mod that lets you transmog armor. Yeah, that could be a thing. But I also, I just find it funny. Is it day or night in the world? I have no idea. We barricaded ourselves in. And we've just been slowly working our way through. We are going to need some torches soon, though. So we might need to take a quick break for torches. Yeah, because if not, we're going to run the risk of starting to spawn some mobs in here. It is at least thunderstorming, which means it is dark. It is mob spawnable. A clock. It was. It is mob spawn o'clock. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll throw the iron ore because I don't need it. There you go. We'll keep the dyes together. We'll, oh, we should keep the glass panes together. Also, the emerald can go up there because we actually have treasure from that. The candles can stick together. Uh, that flower pot can go up there, sure. Do we have coal? We have four sticks. We have no coal. Flint and steel some of the terracotta. I could, but yeah. How did you pick Lagundo to be your name? It is a fake masculine way of saying legend in Spanish. That's it. That's, that's the whole, that's the whole bit. And I, I wanted to make up a word for my my screen name. I decided to make up, I like, I wanted to make up a word based off of the word legend. I decided to fake the word legend in Spanish because legend in Spanish is legenda, which is feminine by default. So I made a fake masculine version and then there you go. That's, that's the whole, whole deal. Can I nail this? Oh, this is actually a really cool spot. Yo, this is actually sick. Oh my goodness. Choose your fates. Or watch the show. Thank you. Hello. We missed the announcement. What is it? Go to the start of the stream. <laughs> no. A couple announcements. My ultimate survival adventure mod pack is now available. I am looking for some new moderators and community community like leads, which uh, applications for those are currently open. And I revealed the logo for my upcoming server game slash creator event called Extraction, which I'm very excited for all of that. Hi, Viking. How's your stream? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. We then spent an hour and a bit searching for trail ruins. It sucked. It sucked a lot. I'm not going to lie. Like, annoyingly so. But then we eventually found one. 
it is... I know. I have a lot of strong opinions about trail ruins right now. I have a lot of strong opinions about trail ruins right now. It is finally time to trim my armor. I still have yet to trim my armor. We're working on a YouTube video that will be related to that. I think it will be a fun one. To do that, we needed to get every armor trim. So that's what we started working on secretly last stream. But then more formally this stream, which has been fun. And we're working our way through our literal first trail ruins. This is the first one we've ever encountered. It's going moderately well. We've only broken eight things so far. Fortune the coal to get more coal. That's why I grabbed that diamond pick. Uh, that diamond pick has fortune three. So I am guaranteed to get more coal by using that pick. I think this is just a patch of dirt. Yeah, that's just a patch of dirt. Also, we're using a pickaxe because it's slow. <clears throat> Only eight. Hey, I came into this thing kind of hot because I was mad. <laughs> I was mad and my shovel's a little too good. So we we rested on using a pickaxe to clear when we're in a majority of the cab of the cavern area and then going back from there and using the shovel to clear out from behind so that's been the plan we're trying to get every armor we have three out of the five from trail ruins we could make stone shovels we could yes but suffering is funny <laughs> for YouTube. My suffering is funny, which always makes it interesting. Just got past some basketball. We finally found one. It took us so long, Pat. There's some you walked over in the hallway you made. Uh, none here. Oh yeah, there is. Thank you. Good eye. Thank you, David. Two green ones back to back. Nice. I'm going to move our shulkers down. Pained archaeology noises. I'm sorry, Solar. I'm doing my best, okay? Which I know isn't saying a lot. So this is where we've been collecting all of the things that we find. Uh, we also tried killing some ocean, some guardians to get uh, ocean monument stuff. We did not luck out too well on that, unfortunately. Put the coal there for right now. There we go. Oh, and the crafting table. Can go right there. Perfect. It took an hour. It took us 90 minutes to find this one trail ruin. It was a bit of a nightmare. I'm not going to lie. I was upset. There we go. This is now clear. We can dust this off. That's another pottery shard. Another creeper one. Little creepy boy. The base, the base is coming along really nicely. It's actually really starting to like look good. We are, <clears throat> but I'm also trying to make like some more, I don't know how to say this, more YouTube content in the world as well, instead of just streams and working on that Working on the main mega base is fun for me. It's a lot of fun for streams to just watch as we continue to build. It doesn't make for really good YouTube content because the world is 
Like that project is too big to try to encapsulate into a video that is the average kind of YouTube general accessibility. So we're, we're taking it slow and we're doing other projects instead. Do, 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 do. Hope you're, hey, Captain. Good to see you. Oh, a good one. Better now that we actually found what we're looking for. Oh, another armor trim. It's another new one. That's four out of five. Four out of five. We need one more and then we never need to find another trail ruins ever again and it won't be soon enough. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You're mad. I'm not mad. It's fine. <coughs> Wait, four out of five. So we have host, wayfinder, shaper, and razor. What's the fifth one? There's five. There's five. You all said five. There's only four armor trim. Unless the fifth you keep mentioning is a disc. Okay, hold on. We're gonna need to re-record that shot. So let's just come over here. YouTube magic, here's how it's made. And with this, we have everything we need. All four armor trims. We never need to come back to a trail ruins ever again. And it won't be too soon. Then again, um, we still need the music disc. And they are gonna add new armor trims in the next update. I hate myself. There you go, we'll go with the second take. There, there are new armor trims in the next update, I think, right? Or they are just in trial chambers. Hi, Batman. Uh, we are fighting with the trail ruins. We, we literally spent all day trying to find the trail ruins. We spent most of the stream trying to find one, and now we're going through. Sniffer, I have sniffer eggs. I've never hatched sniffers, which is bonkers again. Because I've been so, I was for the longest time just focused on the base. I didn't engage with a lot of the 1.20 content until much later now. <coughs> oh, pottery shard. Yeah, I've kind of just taken my time to engage with a lot of the stuff that exists in 1.20. Sure. Put another glass pane here because why not? We don't need the wooden hose. We'll 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 let the wooden hose lie. We'll drop those over here along with all of that. So that can despawn over there. Yeah, I have sniffer eggs. I just have not hatched them. Genuinely. Okay, is there anything sus in this line? I don't think so. So we can... Excavate that. We can excavate that. Try to find one. We we have found one. No, that's just regular. Okay. Excavate this out nice and slow. Nothing here. There we go. Clear. There's one. Brush you. What we get? More dyes. make a sniffer farm yeah it's weird because like 
This is stuff that came out a long time ago. Relatively. And I'm just kind of interacting with it now because I've just been focused on other things. So it's new for me. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Ooh, sheep pottery shark. I can go there and we get a break. How do you think I am? I don't know. And we try not to talk about that in, in chat here. Because for those that are younger, they shouldn't be talking about it. It's a safety measure. And for those that are older, we don't want them being judged for engaging with the Minecraft stream. Or, or being here. I mean, y'all know that I'm on the older side. I'm a full ancient man. <laughs> comparatively. So we don't care. As long as you're allowed to be here, that's all that matters. Is this brush up? brushy brushy? No. That's, that's, that one's done. Done. This row is done. We can excavate that out. This row is done. Oh, look at that. Multiple right here. You can only find the new armor trims. Okay, so they didn't go back and add anything new to trail ruins. For some reason, I thought they had, and I was kind of freaking out. I'm not gonna lie, because that would have been very painful. This hatch them? Uh, now we know. Maybe later. Maybe later. I'm in no rush to. I play at my own pace. I mean, if this if this isn't proving anything, first tra first trail ruins experience, and we're what a year after the game releasing, or a year after this update releasing, go back. You missed one. I'll go back. I'm not done yet. Oh, another armor trim. Nice. Just a couple old dudes chilling in chat. Yup. There we go. Found it. Thank you. Good eye. Oh, and it was another trim. Sick. Very good eye. Thank you, Millamy. <clears throat> I think this hallway is almost done. So that's clear. That's clear now too. Okay, so that's all done. I feel old enough working with 20, 25 year olds. So crazy, I say that in like context, right? I say, I joke about me being old and I go way, and I'll make jokes about me being older than I feel or I like to think that I am. So that way nobody else can, right? If I call myself old, when my friends call me old, it's funny. But if somebody actually tried to be like, you're too old for X, Y, or Z, or you shouldn't be doing X, Y, or Z, then I'm just like, well, yeah, I call myself old all the time. It's just it's just taking that away. That's why I also make all, all my own bald jokes. Because again, it's another thing that like, then people can't say that to or about me because why would I care? I'm gonna probably say worse. So like that's 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 why it's funny for me. That is the version of self-deprecating humor I like to lean into. It just makes it entertaining. I have to do all of this, all of this, and all of this way still. There's a lot in here. Like, genuinely. It takes forever to find. But once you do find it, credit where it's due, this is entertaining. It's just, it's just way too hard to find. Got it. Another armor trim. Sick. I'm going to have two of all of them at this rate. 
Okay, that is everything excavated on this tunnel. I think this tunnel is done. Okay, so I think I can safely say that this tunnel is done. How do I mark this tunnel being done? I'll just put one red brick and a stair on top of it. So that's done. This tunnel is not done. Okay. Oh, it goes up one more. Yeah, sorry. Repeating the same thing when I've already kind of said no. Like, I, I kind of play at my own pace. I take my time doing stuff. So I'm not gonna fly all the way back home in the middle of investigating this thing to go hatch sniffer eggs. So probably not likely. Sorry, maybe another time or another stream, but not right now. Mud, mud bricks and sound. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, mind this. Yep, there's another. Candle. Neat. But yeah, like, I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing, the middle of what I'm doing, just to go do something else. I kind of want to finish this. Uh, day was good. I actually hit all my macros for the day, which felt, which feels really nice. Like, it genuinely feels like an, a, an accomplishment right now for me to fully nail, like, what my diet is supposed to be like for a given day. I, and I'm, I'm super personally proud of that for sure. The bone blocks being mine? Oh yeah, they, they, that sounds wonderful. I'm with you there. All right, this is done. So it's just this section over here still. <clears throat> Someone doing something and then ask them to do something else in their voice. <laughs> eh. I just broke one because I, I stopped paying attention. Well, I mean, the reason is like just the need or the desire to be like the one driving the, the situation. That's fine. Eat a whole pizza is your food goal. Hey, crush it, my friend. I, I one day this week, uh, well, one day last week, I literally scheduled my whole uh, day around having Korean fried chicken for lunch. <laughs> that, that was my whole day. That was the big event for me on that day, right? And I really, really enjoyed it. It, it made me feel really good because I was able to do that and I was able to not feel guilty about it afterwards because I had actually planned for it and tried to like I'm still eating a giant pile of fried chicken but at the same time it was done in a way that was like intentional so therefore that somehow makes it better and it wasn't as bad for me as I thought it was going to be like I was able to I didn't have to punish myself too hard on the rest of my diet for the day, which is nice. Uh, feel that with every Minecraft update, we are actually moving back through time, and that's why more and more structures are revealed in the world. Thus, the oldest version of Minecraft consists of the very last remains of civilization. Um, and they're all that's left. Steve, the last survivor of humanity, and all evidence of traces of once lost. It. That's a really interesting theory. I've never heard that one before. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda dig it. I kinda dig it. That's actually a really good theory. I mean, I think we know quote unquote Minecraft's lore, right? So I don't think that that is it, but I like that as like a fan theory. I think that's really good. Why are we talking about our diets? Because I brought it up. And it's a topic that's important to me right now because I'm trying to eat healthier. 
Oh my god, this gets this is such a massive hunt. How much you want to bet that all this up here though is just regular gravel? But I can't risk it. I brought it up and it's important to me right now. Yeah, I think this is all just regular gravel. underground houses that's been buried. I mean, that's what all ruins are. That's literally what all ruins are, are underground houses that have been buried. Please don't spam one. No, please don't, actually. Like, I, I like that the chat's reading. I like that the chat is readable and accessible, like in that we, we try to keep it a little bit, a little bit more tame. Okay, so I think, I think we're done. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was ready to quit right before we found this thing, but trail ruins are actually kind of fun. like. They're pretty big. There's a lot here. They are just impossible to find. Way too impossible to find. But let's get these all packed up. Bring a little bit of the bricks and stuff with us. But if we pack all of these up, we should be ready to go. Let's go find some more armor trims in other structures. stop our recording just short of an hour clear out the terracotta to be safe i have everything i need realistically we have everything that we need we don't need anything else from here it's all a matter of personal pride and we have the coordinates we can come back I kind of just want to leave. I kind of want to not not be here. This was intense. Like this this took a decent clip to finish. But it took way too long to find. Hopefully it's raining. Nope. All right, let's fly home. This way. Drown rooms have suspicious sand? Yes, they do. Uh, you can get a couple. Actually, really quickly, let's just make sure. Let's just get some. Let's have, let's keep a brush in our inventory. Cause it, it can't hurt. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think there's some around here, we can check. There's one. What do you got Hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? Rice, vegetables, fruit, meat. I mean, that's basically all my diet is right now, too, my friend. So. Oh, 
Oh, we get some pottery shards from this. Honestly, though. Take an emerald. Ooh. Kid with a fork. Child with battle cutlery. Get over here. Do we even get it? Nah. That would've been cool though. The trail ruins were annoyingly impossible to find. Uh, I hope that gets fixed. I hope that the the breeze rod one held in hand is held like a rod. I think I hope that that would get fixed. I would hope. I also hope that the mace's texture change to be a 3D mace like a dry Because that would be so much better. Oh my goodness! Choose your fates! Watch the show. Or watch the show. Thank you. Welcome in! You succulent. That is a funny name. Uh, welcome into the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. What were you up to today? What do you got going on? Uh, my name is Lagundo. I am your internet dad. We are in the process of finishing up a little Minecraft excavation and trail ruin and archaeology trip through the ocean because we really, really struggled to find a trail ruin. But we did eventually get one, which was nice. Okay. What's up? Welcome in. Okay. That's... We don't, we can put that on. And we can fly. We can get food. <coughs> Library tonight in your Minecraft world. Nice. Very cool. Is it a library for anything specific or just a general build for the world? Are you keeping comments or user or member stories or anything else like that in? We can just litter a little bit. It's fine. There's no there's no crime in Minecraft. <gasps> yes! Hello! Okay, hold on. Pink sheep! Pink sheep alert! Pink sheep alert! Hello! Okay. We need to get a boat. We need to get a boat. Okay, we need a boat. We need a boat. Boat, 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 boat. Let's go. It's the whole brand. We need a boat. Uh, all my pink sheep have C names. That is... That is the, uh, the gag, is that they all have names that begin with C. We're going to put them right where we found them. Oh, no. Get out of here. Skilly. Problem solved. Okay, so we need coordinates. Because we're going to need to come back here via the nether roof. Ow. Nope. Stop it. Stop it. Yo, you love to see it. Coral could work. We need a archaeology centric name. <laughs> given when we found them, given when we found them and what was going on, we need an archaeology centric name with a C specifically. 
Okay, portal, portal. Can you name it my last name? Shameless donation. David uh, with the $5 super chat. <coughs> Croft is a good one. Okay, David, that was really good. And I'm kind of tempted to, to do that for a later one. But somebody on Twitch just said Croft, as in Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. And I really kind of like that one. Because I'm just imagining a sheep with double pistols holstered on their hips. Which I think would be good. Croft is really good. Okay, I think I think it's going to have to be Croft. Okay, I need a name tag. Do I have an anvil? It's in here. Croft, it is. I'll get you home soon, okay? Uh, we'll put that in there now, too, just so that's there. Okay, we can stash these two away. Well, looks like we're making a three wide portal. Nope. Because we can, because why not? Okay, uh. We'll get them home next stream. We need to move away from this so that a phantom doesn't appear to go through it, which would be bad. Croft is a really good name. We have a new pink sheep. That is pink sheep number three in Hardcore Series 3. We have Kopi, Celebration, and now Croft. Why don't you have Fire Aspect on my sword? Because I died partially due to Fire Aspect in Hardcore Series 2. And so because of that, no Fire Aspect on the sword. It's just a rule. It's a silly rule, but it's one of my rules. Okay, Croft. I will be back. You you stay alive. That is sick. I'm so excited. We got a pink sheep on top of everything else. It's a good day. It's a very, very good day. Yeah, all the sheep names being C is on purpose. It is, it, it, that is a, an intentional choice. That is just a rule that I set for myself. You have two, one with, one without. I do catch myself on fire sometimes. That's the thing, like I partially died because of that by taking a lot of fire damage in the, in that cave with those zombies, so. Because of that, that's the rule. No fire aspect on the sword. And this is our last carrot. If it could start raining, that would be wonderful. We'd get home super fast. Right? You can call me dad, but don't call me daddy. That's the rule. <laughs> oh boy. Somebody clip it, by the way. I need I need a pink sheep clip. Pink sheep and fully excavated ruins on top of being crowned. Yep. And we had some really cool announcements at the start of the stream, which is hype. We're just gonna get ourselves home. And then I have a lot to do as far as the activity book. Make sure that everything is tracked for today's stream. We got 5,000 blocks to fly. It's got to take a minute. If it could start raining, that would be great, game. Because then we'd be able to yeet.
vibing. I appreciate it, but we don't we don't need to spam one. Just talk and chat. That's all I need. My daughter still gets a kick of you telling her to go to bed on the end busting stream. As a fellow parent, I'm here to help. I love some of the questions in the mod app. Yeah, I think that tells you the kind of vibe that we're going for with mods in general. Like, that should make it pretty clear. It's like, oh, here, here's what they're looking for. Here's what they want. I will tell you, there's a definitive right answer to one of the questions. A lot of them are subjective, but there's one question that there is a definitive correct answer to. And I will not tell you which question it is, nor will I tell you what the correct answer is, but I will tell you that there's explicitly one question that I have said line in the sand, the correct answer is this, and we will not accept anything else. So keep that in mind as you're filling out your applications. <laughs> I really hope that I answered it right. I'm not saying which one it is. I'm not saying which one it is. I'm not saying what the correct answer is. I'm nothing along those lines. All I'm telling you is that there is exactly one question that I think that there is an objective correct answer. And other than that, it is all it is all subjective, which is fun. First live as well. Well, hello, Stormy. Welcome in. You're coming in at somewhat the end near the tail end of a pretty awesome stream but we had a good one and i'm glad you were able to make it in even if it was just for a couple minutes keep an eye out if we can find if we can go double pink sheep that would be bonkers right two pink sheeps in one stream that'd be nice are we still heading in their right direction yep I think if we go straight here, yep, there we go. There's our, there's our lanterns. And here we are back at Lake Lantis. The base is coming along nicely. Jasmine's just chilling up there and doing her thing. She's eating a little bit more of that tower, which is a bit of a problem. I haven't gone in to fix it yet. Well, we're just vibing. But yeah, Celebration is right here. Hello. Uh, and Copilot is back at the at the Birch Forest that we built all the way back at the start of the street, at the start of the world. Uh, quite a few episodes ago. <coughs> you want planes in Minecraft? Planes would be fun. Not gonna lie. Uh, there's, there's, we have the, um, the airship mod in the Ultimate Survival Adventure, which is a ton of fun, which I'm very, very, very happy about. That that went well. All right, y'all, what a stream. What a stream. Let's find somebody to raid you all out to, to keep the good vibes going. Who is live that we could go to? Uh, following. Who am I live? Who, who be live? All of his live. <coughs> y'all gonna, y'all want to go watch some MCCI? All of his live, all of hoodies. We'll raid in. Why not? It could be a fun one. All has been live for two hours, so it might be a short raid, but we'll see. Start raid on the YouTube side. Can I send you all somewhere specific? Let's check. If not, I will just spam a link for a little bit. Um, Joe is live on YouTube, so I'll send you all over there on the YouTube side of things. Why not? We'll keep the good vibes going. Y'all, I appreciate you. Thank you all for tuning in. If you're new and you just joined in for the first time, this is your very first stream, exclamation mark Discord. Come join our community. We have an awesome space. We have a lot of really cool things coming very soon. If you missed the announcements, go back. It's the very first couple minutes of the stream. I talked about all of it. I'm also going to be putting out announcements on, like redoing these announcements on Twitter over the next like 24 hours. I'm super excited for it. It's gonna be good. Please help me just blast the word out for that as far and as wide as we can, because I'm so excited. I will get everything that happened as far as support into the book. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. I will appreciate it. And I'm always forever thankful for everything. But as always, you tuning in, chatting with me is more than enough. I appreciate you. I will see you all on Friday. 
until next time, everybody, take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Our raid message for all of us, never skip leg day. I will see you all soon. Bye.